This morning, mm -hmm. yes, I need. Good morning, Lady Bug. What's up, Christy? Thank you, Exo. Hey, Ashley. Philadora. The only one I'm familiar with is Ladybug. It's all good. And then she the only one that gave me a thumbs up. So I guess the rest of y'all is trolls. Because hmm. uh, she the only one that gave me a thumb up. All you in here and just one thumb up. Come on now. I know it can't all of y'all ain't trolls. Or are you? Damn, y'all trolls be on it then.
Hey, Gracie. What you been up, Gracie? I know Gracie. You been having family problems? Everything okay? Because I know how that can be, baby. I don't know. Uh, is it far as health problems or, you know, not getting along problems? Health problems are okay. I know that's right. Honey. It be like that. I keep saying, I'll be saying I'm going to call my sister. And every time I say I'm going to call her, I end and look. I, I told you what I got. And see, I think what got me last night that made me not go to the app that they told me to go to is because um soon as I got off the phone, my friend called me to tell me he um tell me that he um uh, stranded at the train was it yeah train yeah train station. Hey, kids. Thank you, baby. I appreciate it. Thank you for hitting the like button. But you know, my thing is, I already know I ain't gonna argue about people hitting the like button because I know, like, when it's two and three hundred and four hundred people in here, I know a lot of that, and I'm sitting and only got made with five hundred people. I only sit here and I only got, um, um, 60 likes. I know you I ain't crazy. I know that mainly is just trolls. So that's why I come. I really don't. That's why I really don't get into. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit like, every now and again. Because most of it, like I said, like now, 180 people. I know probably, like I said, I only know. Uh, Kizzy, Ladybug, Gracie. That's it. So I, you know, and I just think the rest of them is trolls. I mean, I appreciate it. I appreciate it wanting to come through and look at a motherfucker, but uh, you know, they don't get no real support. They just come through the, you know. To be bullies or just troll, you know, to keep keep your mind off of what you keep your mind off of what you're talking about. So, but it's all good. They do what they do. It ain't gonna stop them. But I, that's why I say I don't get into. Don't forget to hit the like button because I know most of them are trolls. And I definitely can understand that, Ladybug, when you say they ain't on the same accord. Because, baby, that's how it was with my family when um, uh, my brother passed. Oh, we went through something back then. And you're right. When it comes to, if it didn't trust me, if money involved, y'all ain't going to agree. Everybody think this one, uh, uh, you know, trying to get this and this one trying to leave this one out. So, if money involved, y'all ain't gonna never come together. Can you say good morning, Auntie and everyone? Make sure, that, yeah, make sure you hit the like button. Yeah, I'm got, I got time today. I don't need no bars. Shit, I can get y'all up out of here my damn self. It is sad that they like that, but honey, when it comes, telling you, when it comes to uh, money or any type of possessions or something like that, I'm telling you, 
That's when you would know. That's when you going to see your family real colors. Trying to tell you. Because we went down that. We went down through it. And, you know, I try to make sense of it. But I know, you know, because of the fact, you know, uh, money involved, ain't nobody listening because everybody think this one trying to cheat, cheat, cheat them or this one trying to get this one trying to get more than they supposed to get. So, you know, and ended up when it's like that, you end up giving you end up um, giving you know the white man all your damn money because you got to you know you need him to go to fight back and forth with your family. So and it got so bad, ended up had to go. They won't. They went and got a separate lawyer. That was just more money that had to be taken, you know, taken out. So I said, you know what? Mm-hmm. It ain't nothing that you could do, though. It ain't nothing that you could do. Because when a uh, family mind is set up and made up, that they thinking that um, things, let's say, as long as it got something to do with money, you gonna, family going to be a mess. You going to go through something. Thank you, aunt. Thank you, sister, aunt. Thank you, ladybug. I'm glad you got my back. Oh. What's up, Day Day? There she goes. What's up, aunt? You up early, Day Day? He just said, I'm at work, just caught the live. I'm going to watch the replay later, okay? Check it out later. I know something will be different. Thank you, kids. I appreciate it. So you at work. Okay. And y'all know what get me is one thing about it. And see, them people sit over there, and they listen to that llama mouth bitch sit there and tell lies. Then she going to go as far as... And try to put out there. Now, first of all, she wanted to go get a lawyer because I'm talking about her. But, bitch, you lying on me. You sitting here putting out lies. The shit I said about you is the shit that you she done said in that she done talked about on her YouTube. I want to say stupid shit. Now, like I said, I don't even talk about her kids. I talk about her and the baby daddy. Now she wanted to go and talk about... Oh, cause he can't talk. She meant, girl, you so stupid. But you know what? I don't expect no better of a third grade brain level bitch. She don't understand love. But then and then putting out my thing is I ain't put out lies about her. I put out shit that she told me. We talked about this on the phone. She the one that told me her mama didn't raise her. You ain't heard me get up here never ever and say nothing about my mama didn't raise me or I didn't come up with my mama. I had a love. I had a good family. My mama and daddy was together to the day they died. So I don't know what the fuck she talking about. But you know, like I said again, when you got a third grade brain level like she do, then you say stupid shit like that. How you gonna go to a lawyer and you? Yes, I did. And I screenshot and I saved the video. All up. Show sure did. Had it on. Um, had it on caption. So yeah. I ain't even got the, I ain't got the, well, you know, you can do, you can uh, uh, copy the transcript anyway. You know, up that line hard and back, oh, you know, her mama, did, bitch, you the one that don't, I ain't put you in my damn life like you put me in yours. I ain't tell you nothing about me. And then you ain't never got up here and hear me say nothing about my mama didn't raise me. You mad because your mama didn't raise you. You the liar. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, she wanted to act like she done being abused and everything. Then got up there trying to act like, and when Q do go and watch my video, 
Only thing she gonna see is, yeah, I'm calling her out of her name. That's it. But you gonna, she gonna see that you, she ain't got time to do the stupid shit you do. You big belly bob uncle looking bitch. You ain't got a nerd to talk about somebody's stomach. Your shit look like you motherfucking red to, at nine months pregnant. Look like you just can't breathe. A blowing hole. Got a nerd to talk about. And then, then she told me she cooking fish and spaghetti. Walk, then he eat that food. And you know he loves some catfish now. He loves uh, some cat. He loves some catfish. And I think he put that hot sauce on that damn catfish so he couldn't eat it. That go to tell you she cook bland. And then he ain't have about two spoonfuls of the spaghetti. And this stupid bitch ain't nobody but her and her daughter. And I mean, my thing is, she want to claim that um, I'm messing with my uh, ne- you, uh, nephew. You got to be fucking your daughter. Why she still there? 20 some years old. Can't drive. You stay doing some. You stay driving her here and, uh, here and there. She don't never be seen. She stay hidden. So something strange about that. She's still in your house at 20 some years old. I believe you, I believe you sucking and fucking on her. How about that? Yeah. You, you know, you so, you the expert in it. You want to claim somebody else doing something. I believe you might be doing her. That might be why she ain't moved out. Hmm. And she can, and she can talk. Yeah. Maybe that's why Walt ain't getting none. Because you giving it to her. Shit. Yeah, we can go head to head if you want to start telling lies. I can start telling lies on you too. Yeah. That sounds real stupid for you to sit here and talk about a child, uh, uh, an autistic child. That's real dumb of you. But you know, you expect no better, but then want in the same breath, want to talk about call a lawyer and you defaming and turn down a child. What kind of woman is you? Don't never hear me say nothing about her kids and not turn them down or nothing, but she want to turn. She wanted to defame a child, a 10-year-old now, that's autistic. She wanted, and them motherfuckers over there co-signed with shit like that. Yeah, something wrong with her. Yeah, something is truly wrong with her that you got to go, you so fucked up that you got to go as far and tear down an autistic child. Now, you know something wrong with that, that you got to tear down an autistic child. 10 years old now. You want to put that on a 10 because you ain't never been loved and you don't know what it is to love up on kids and stuff like that. Uh, uh, you don't know the difference between uh, nurturing it and loving a child because see, you didn't raise your own young. That's why you think it's, it's something strange to it. You, don't, you ain't never been loved. You weren't raised by your mama and then you ain't raised your own kids. So I can, I, you know what? I expect no better. Especially with a third grade brain level. Your husband tell yourself. And he got more sense than you. Why you arguing with people? But see, she don't listen. She don't care. She ain't that man can't tell her nothing. He could do because she she do what she wants to do. He can't tell her nothing. That's why I come and say it. They ain't she ain't really she don't really care about him. Because if your husband tell you, why don't you stop going back and forth? Leave him alone, pay him no mind. Why don't you listen? You bubblehead bitch. Why? Because you ain't got good sense. That's what you do. That's your life. Drama. That's what your life full of. Drama and lies. That's what it is. And they then gonna sit over. Oh, she that's all she wanted to keep saying. Oh, she making fun. What the fuck in my life that was I making fun of a mother or somebody being abused? When the fuck did I do that? See, you can't even comprehend. That's the thing about fucking with somebody like her. She real dangerous because of the simple fact she's sad, she miserable, she done got big as hell, wobbling and shit, blowing. It's a shame. I mean, I um, mean, I'm sitting here big. You don't hear me. <sighs> she can't even walk from the sink to the damn stove without blowing and taking a damn break. Oh, they always wearing clothes too little. The hell, you say I know. She, that's what I'm telling you. I know a I know a motherfucking uh yeast infection stay living on that ass. I know it do. You can't tell me no different that motherfucker ain't got no yeast infection every week. 
Yeah, it won't tell her like, oh, gee. yeah, like I said, bitch, you fucking your daughter. Mm-hmm. That's what you doing. That's why she's still there. And she can talk. How long you been doing that? You move, she move. Drive her to work. Pick her up. And claim she's supposed to. Then want to say, oh, you cutting. You ain't going to do shit, you big head bitch. You so bad, come over here. I ain't got to go. You so bad, you going to do so much. And yeah, I screenshot the threats too, baby. I, th- I, stream- I screenshot the threats too. Yeah, so bring it. Go on and get your lawyer so we can go on and do this. Go on, go on and bring up the damn charges so I can bring my evidence to court too. So when we do this and they're going to throw that shit out and you the fuck out too on your one motherfucking hip ass, uppity up, up and down hip uh, foot. Yeah, going to throw your ass out with the stupid shit. Yeah, I made sure I, string, I screenshot that, the threats and everything and the lies. I want to see where you got receipts at where I'm making fun, making fun of talking about somebody got abused. I ain't say a damn thing about this bitch when talking about she when she was talking about she got abused. Now all of a sudden, uh, now she want to talk about men that abused her. Oh my God, see a liar, liar don't never change, and that's one thing that she don't do. That's one thing about her. And that's why come walk don't care too fuck too much fucks about it. Cause all she do is lie. He don't he know he you think that man don't sit back. He might not say much to her, but you think he don't sit back and, and understand and see the bullshit that she do, the lies that she tell, her actions and stuff. You think this man don't see that? Why you think he don't react to her dumb shit? Oh, she was just couldn't help it last night. He couldn't even do his video. For she, he done told you a hundred times he didn't want no water, stupid. Oh, he want no water. He done told you no. He said, I don't want no water. He said, I don't want no water. I get it when I get up. He don't want no water. I said, what the fuck? If she can't hear? First of all, you can't read. You can't see. Now the bitch can't hear. He done told you the whole time. First of all, he wants you to shut the fuck up out of his life. Why are you seeing that? Why do you? She always seen that want to appear in his damn life in his uh, videos, but she go and hide in the bedroom, in the closet, in the bathroom, doing her shit. He knows she. He knows she ain't up to no good. You think that man don't know? He been staying with your stupid ass this long, and he don't know you. That's why he. That's why he don't take up no time with you. That's why he stay uh, playing video games and. And watching TV in the living room and not with you. And you saw they don't they ain't got no togetherness. As soon as you think you think she was wanting to sit down and eat with him, he don't even want to eat with him. That's why he do videos and shit, just so he don't have to eat with him. She won her shit up and went right, and you hear the door open, she went right back in the bedroom where the roaches at where she leave crumbs and shit all in the bed. Yeah. He didn't even eat that damn food. He put so much damn hot sauce on it. And you know Walt loves some catfish now. I mean, you know he loves some catfish. He throw the whole, look like a whole piece away. Took one bite and he threw the rest. Because she can't cook. All that spaghetti now. Nobody but him and her and the daughter that she fucked back there. And all that. Boy, like I said, baby, I got you. You want, I'm ready. I sure am. I told you, I got all my videos and shit where you running your mouth and telling lies. Mm-hmm. Now, you ain't hear me not one time. Uh, yeah, they having marital problems. They stay, they been having marital problems, Ladybug. They ain't never been together, and it's because of her. You t- Like I said, you think he this man ain't been with this woman, and he see the, the bullshit that she do. He tell her all the time to stay. She the reason, and that's why he said... That he might go live. Uh, Cause he looking at it like. This bitch taught me. Out of me doing my lies. But now. She back there racking the fuck up. Doing lies. You see how that work? She, they ain't, she ain't together. Hell she just did what? They been together all this damn time. Look how long she let him sit in a picnic chair. Damn chair to, to go outside. Let him sit in a, a a a picnic chair 
from the time they been married up until what this last year Christmas. She find and then knowing his color, see she she ain't she for sure she don't care about nothing but her her one hip bitty hop ass self. Cause she know his color blue. But what she do? Get him red and she took blue. Cause she a man. That's what that big body ass bitch is, a man. Uncle Bob. Then got nerd talking about somehow big somebody. Bitch, you the one that's blowing that can't walk from the damn sink to the stove. <laughs> Without huffing and puffing. Shit. No, don't be mad at me because of the fact that I don't look like you. Shit. But I just can't get over how she want to how she want to talk about an artistic key. Lie on an artistic, uh, artistic key. I'm telling you, that's sad. Now you know that's done that's the lowest of the low that uh she wants to talk about a special need child because of the fact she don't understand love. That's all that is. She don't understand love. That's what that is. What's up, man? See. Thank you, Mansi. Cause you know she won't do nothing but lie. You know, uh, setting that line. I'm glad you reporting it then. Yeah. Cause you know, my thing is, y'all see what I do. I don't hide nothing when, uh, Wooga and them kids is here. Them kids love up on me just the same way I love up on them. But see, like I said, she wouldn't know nothing about no bond with no kids because she ain't never had no bond with her kids. Or grandkids. How many times you see them grand youngins over there? Even up to the older ones. The ones that can't drive and stuff. You think that? How many of them sitting over there with her? None. Only time you, only time. And then when the holidays and stuff come, they still ain't over there. You think they can't? They know, they know that the woman. They know she evil. That's why you, the kids don't even mess with her. How many times? All them, out of all them seven, eight, seven kids that she got and stuff. Only one, and that's because she got that one, that hostage, the baby girl. She ain't got no choice, but you don't never see her. How I mean, long as that bitch been doing her video, how many times have you seen that baby girl come out and speak or say, hey, never? They don't give a fuck about her. That's what that is. Now, how many, I ain't know where in the hell I'm going to have seven kids and, and one stand with me and not one, not they not going to appear at all. They ain't going to say hey, nay, or nothing. None of them. None of them. Even when she even when she did a video with her mama them, they, I think they was, eat, yeah, they was eating seafood. They ain't even want to be on her video then. Yeah, the mama just did want to be on it. So you tell, you can tell. You can tell what kind of, you can tell exactly what kind of evil spirit that roams in her soul. She evil. Man says you should. Hell as well. Should not. None of her grandkids. No, don't none of them never come over, man. None of them. None of them. How many times do you hear uh do you uh hear about her talk. She don't even talk about her grandkids. Don't talk about the youngins, how, oh, uh, what they accomplished, what they did, or whatever. No, no. Because they don't care about her like that. That's what it is. That's why come her daughter start stop doing, uh, stop doing her hair. Look, it was that she has all of her minions on your live saying stupid. I know it. Lying. That's what she doing for Kiva. That's what that is. See, she ain't got no... She got to make up stuff. That's what she got to do. That's what she got to do. But I kind of think that one she got me up there with that white lipstick, I think... Uh, I think that's cute. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. I 
I mean, just lying. I said, what in the world? Because normally, like I said, I don't even go. Then go some, I go. Uh, somebody go over to Q video, tell her. I would love to know where in my video I was making fun of somebody being abused. What was I doing that at? And I mean, even my thing is, they going to see. Go take it. To, I want her to take it to court. Go ahead. I want you to take this to court, you, this stupid ass shit that you like telling lies. And when you go in there and you're going to see who the one that's going to walk out with their damn head between their legs, it's going to be you because of your lies. Ain't nowhere in my video they going to see I was making fun of somebody being abused, you dumb ass bitch. Just because you, your brain don't go far than the third grade, I know you got to have more sense than you do. You got to. That's why I'm going to pray for you with more brains and common sense. Because I don't think she comprehend good. I don't think she read that well. You see, when she was reading them comments, oh, what would y'all say? What uh, would y'all say? Won't comprehend nothing they were saying. But yet, want to get up and tell lies. Bitch, I ain't lying on you. Shit, I'm talking about shit that you don't put out there on your video. And there's proof out there. I can bring that up. I can back. I got receipts. Backing me up on what the fuck I said, what I said about you. You ain't got no receipts. Right. Exactly. She posted the grant. She won't there. That's what it was. She, you right, man. See, she posted a video of her uh, granddaughter turning 16. It won't because she was there. It's because they sent her the picture. And that's sad. The same thing with Christmas. And the picture, Christmas picture that she put up for last year was old. One back in the day. It won't no recent picture. They don't mess with her. I'm telling you, they do not mess with her. Because you know what? One, they probably don't mess with her because she beg all the time. Because you see, now she, now, I, now, am I lying? She the one that got up there and said that. Oh, I don't ask nobody for no cash out. Now, I do. I, well, I ask my kids for money. Now, I, did I, I didn't make, she the one that said that. That's probably why they don't mess with her because she stay begging. That's what that is. Oh, big, big, baller, big, big belly, Uncle Bob, Jeffro looking ass. What the fuck I'm saying? She mad because something she mad at people talking about her for some shit that she put out there herself. How you gonna, how you, tell me, make that make sense. You mad because people talking about shit that you put out there. Hell, you, the, your damn own husband told you to shut up, to move the fuck on, and she can't do it. Can't do it. You can never be beloved. Never. Like I said, the same thing like I, that's what I was telling Q. She up here talking about them people and what they saying about her. Man, move on. You sitting here bigger than both of them and got more than they got. And you want to address something to blow some people up to make them bigger and everything. Do like be love. She ain't, she, one damn thing about it. That man's been talking about her since he been on YouTube. How many times have be love breathed, breathed his name? I mean, he went far as to say, you know, May sex tapes and um, May sex tapes and stuff on her, putting her pictures and stuff, and she still don't get him no air. You can tell the one that they need to learn something from uh, B Love. That's what they need to do. They need to learn something for her. They ain't got they ain't got that tough skin. That's what that is. They they go to me. When you like drama, you stir in drama. And that's exactly what cool, that's exactly what Llama Llama is. She she a dramatic drama, lying ass motherfucker. That's what she do. She loves drama. But Walt told her, he said, uh, you care about people liking you. Why do you go? He said, I ain't gonna he even said it. he said, I'm not going back and forth uh arguing with somebody. I ain't going to do that. I ain't going back and forth. But see, he's talking about somebody crazy. Nigga, you staying with the crazy motherfucker. That's who you with. Bitch, bitch can't cook. You don't eat a food. He hurry up and push that plate away. And put the paper towel over top of it. Probably so she couldn't see 
that he didn't would it, that he didn't eat it. There ain't no secret that that um it just ain't no secret that uh she can't cook. That's why you think do you really think if she could cook that man will sit there and eat out as much as he eat out? No. I mean he eat out every day. She probably cook once a month. Then the main thing she won't always cook him is spaghetti. And you know ain't nothing but her in it. All that shit flying and she steady playing in it and everything holding it. Who want to eat that kind of food? Then tell me she don't want him in the kitchen. Cause bitch, it ain't your kitchen by yourself. She, I'm telling you, she, Walt know he made him. Walt, I know right now he just as miserable as he want to be for marrying her. You can't tell me that man ain't hurt for um. You can't tell me he ain't hurt. He, you can't. Jersey Mike said, Walt just there. She never did look. No, no, she ain't never loved that man. She she said it herself in the video. She married him for spite. And she knew he would be loved, brother. And that's the reason she went for him. Well, ain't never been no love there. How many times, like I said again, how many times you see them anywhere enjoying anything? I know shit to do in Memphis. Why they don't go... Uh, and the big bitch always talking about she wanting to lose weight. Why you don't go walk? Why y'all don't go somewhere walking sometime? Don't never do nothing. She stay laid back up in that nasty bed full of crumbs, ass bed, laying back talking. That's all she do. Jersey said, I still think she talking to multiple guys on her phone. And at her last job. Oh, yeah. Then she talking about somebody being a perv. You the one. She was sitting up there, what, 60 years old and running behind a 26-year-old, uh, uh, 26-year-old little boy. Yeah, he didn't tell me. Yeah, probably got mad because he didn't want the, he saw all them damn dark bags under her eyes and realized, oh, hell no, you older than I think you are. Yeah, she the perv. <laughs> Judge about to send and kiss Walt in years. And no, he probably don't want to kiss a uh, nasty mouth. What's up, DeAndra? DeAndra said, Auntie folks need to know you're not worried about no court or loan. You are covered. Okay, I ain't no, I ain't worried about that. Especially not with the lies that she get ready to talk about. I'm gonna get me, I'm gonna get me a lawyer tomorrow. Well, I'm ready for a motherfucker to send me some papers. I'm ready for a motherfucker saying, yeah, then they want to bring up. Terry ain't did shit. They ain't did shit, but talk like they talk. Then she going to get, I ain't even, like I said, that, that shit with Terry woke up but a joke. And the only reason, only reason I don't say nothing about Terry no more because I don't watch him. It ain't because she scared me to fuck off. Hell, when I watch her and I see that she's still saying and doing abusive shit, the junior, then I speak on it. But the last couple of times that I watched her video, she was being decent with him. Why should I speak on something when something is good? When I see something good. No, Terry didn't scare shit off. No, I gave her that get right. She the one to change her motherfucking walk and talk with the way she handled uh, Mr. Junior. Shit, I, ain't, I won't play it. My thing is, you sit here all day. Yeah, you making money off your daddy, but why the hell he got to be stupid all the time? Dumb. I mean, you know, you had all these. That's what bothered me about it. But then you have all these other. Then I look at all the other grandkids and kids that got the grand uh, uh, people, you know, and stuff. And mama and daddy that's old uh, do, in the videos and stuff and using them, you know, for content. And they, you know what I'm saying? They won't, I just like, well, damn, why every time she got the cake? I mean, he funny by himself. If you would just come in and have a conversation. But yet, you got to come in. She had to come in, always come in on Junior with, you dumb, you stupid, you retarded. And I'm like, every day, the same thing. But then I looked at it like, 
you know, uh, she was feeling some kind. She got some kind of resentment to him, a little bit of resentment towards uh, Junior. Yeah, she had some resentment towards him. That's why I come when he, you sit here fucking with him and irritating him. And then when he come back, calling you all kinds of bitches and shit, you know, she got in her feelings. You ain't going to tell you, y'all, so if everybody watched it, you could tell she would get in her feelings when they talk and they and she calling him and he calling her a bitch because she'll tell him something. Get, you know when that, her voice changes and she get mad with him, she start getting snappy. Well, yeah, Junior T- Terry didn't stop shit. Trying to tell, I promise you Terry didn't stop shit. She just got better with how she handled Junior, and I didn't see no more need to fuck with her. That's all. And I ain't, like I said, I don't watch her no more. Because, I, you know, last time I watched, um, last time I watched Terry was when Junior had his birthday, and I did get in her ass about something. Then, oh, yeah, I got in her ass about she talking about, you know, she over, she was dry begging. Nigga, just ask for help for his birthday party rather than sit here trying to make up lies that you didn't have it. You got a whole job, you sitting here with over 200k of people on YouTube, you making the money, and you making money off in Junior, and you mean to tell me. She going to sit here and say uh, she was going to get him a birthday party, but it won't going to be no food. What? But you go all out. She go all out for hers. Yeah, I got in that ass. That's why I'm trying to tell them. Terry didn't do shit. I still speak on it when I want to fuck speak on it. What's up, K Love? K Love, K Love, what's up? <laughs> Messi said, Messi said something. She said she's getting a lawyer. She ain't even got enough money to pay her bills. Exactly. Bitch ain't even working, but you going to get a lawyer. Girl, sit there. Your big, big belly Bob Jethro looking ass down somewhere. Lady Bell said, don't let that wicked witch mess with your day. Get it to work and you have a blessed day. I'll just see you this afternoon, brother. Thank you, Lady Bell. Be safe. And I see ya. I will. Forgive me. Yes, she is. I can't stand her. People see through her little, see through her little does she know she's a witch. She damn sure is with people. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. And she got them people over there food. But see, a lot of them people over there that that's in her life, you know what I'm saying? They they don't like me. So I get it. Oh yeah, she say this and she so of course if a person don't like you, they gonna agree with her stupid ass. But I don't care about that. They can talk anyway. I don't care how much they co sign with her. They just as stupid as she is. They see her lies. And they the ones, if you're going to sit here, what's up, Renee? What's going on with you? Good morning. That's what I'm saying, man. It's a big milestone. Because, you know, that used to be the thing of, of a child turning 16. Yeah, she won't invite it. They didn't want that. They didn't want that evil spirit over there. They know that. They don't mess with their mama, and the and the grand youngers don't mess with the mama, the grandmama. So that's why I come. They send pictures. I'm like, no, you ain't got to come and all that, and cause mm-mm. they know she don't. They ain't no love there. Just my say she use you to get paid. Yeah, I know she broke. She see she see where her money coming in at, her bag coming in at is talking about me. Because when she talked about Adrian, they, she ain't get no hit. When she get up there and just generally talk, she ain't get no hits. But she see now, she talking about me, and she getting her, you know, she getting her little bag in and everything. She know I'm feeding her. That's okay. I don't. I ain't got no. Get it, baby. Get your bag. Greedy and thirsty. 
Jersey said, before before Sydney got fired, she had money, but now she doesn't. Exactly. Man, as I said, the video she making, she won't get paid for that until May. Okay? So let's see how she going to pay the rent. So what started the feud between you and her? Y'all be going at each other net like to show for all this people better be more concerned about the soul salvation drop the mess. Right. She the one, but my thing is she the one to put all her shit out there and then gonna get mad when somebody talk about it. But she that's why I said she ain't got no thick blood. You can easily mess with her. All you got to do you know what I'm saying? She ain't got that tough skin. That's why I try to say, you trying to say, oh, throw a threat. Oh, come for me. Uh, yeah, I want you to, I want she to, I want her to come to Memphis. I got something for her. No, bitch, come to North Carolina. That's what you do. You so bad. Get your one hippity hop, big Bob Jeffro looking ass and come to North Carolina. Since you so bad, you can do so much. God will show your ass. That's one motherfucking bitch I would lay down. You hear me? Yeah. You ain't got shit. You ain't gonna do shit. I ain't even talking about no weapon. One uh, straight up, baby. I would tear your ass up. I'm trying to act like you can do All I got to do is kick you in that one down, that short leg, and you out. That's it. How you gonna stand? Then you ain't got nothing. Then you came, your breath, you got shortness of breath. Hell, one day you raise your motherfucking arm and you got to take a break to get some air. Just much. Every time she goes by, we never see Walt. She probably tells him to wait in the living room till she done. <laughs> okay. That's what it is. She sneak and do her videos when she know Walt on that game. See, when Walt on that game, he ain't he, you know what I'm saying, he not listening to her talk or none of that. See, he stay on, Walt stay on playing that game or watching TV. He don't fuck with her. That's sad. Both of them in the same, husband and wife in the house, and they don't have nothing. Like I said, they ain't got no bond whatsoever. Because why, I mean, most of the time, Walt bonding with Yaya. He don't care nothing about her. And she definitely don't give a fuck about him. That's why he don't eat her food. You ain't throw you, you know everybody, everybody that know Walt and watch Walt, they know he loves some catfish. And he threw that fish away. You hear me? He threw that fish away. He put so much hot sauce on it. And the sad part about it, he knew, you know when Walt know he gonna eat something hot, he got that rag on his head. So I, I was looking at it last night, and I said, now he got the hot sauce bottle there. Why he, and he know he was getting ready to eat it. Where the uh, washcloth that he put on his head? He know he won't go eat that food. That's why he did, you know, doused it down with hot sauce. Hell yeah. He kept looking up there at her like, damn. And she stayed in this video. Asked him a hundred times, did he want some water? He told her. I'm gonna get it when I get up. I'm gonna get it when I finish. Oh yeah, you go, you go. You don't want to get full. No, he don't want to eat your food. That's what that is. There ain't nothing to do with. It. He don't want to get full. He told you that. Shit. He told you that just so he wouldn't have to eat your shit. That's what that come from. And she still don't. And she still don't get it. It's okay. He didn't care. He didn't care about throwing the shit away right in front of. Down to say on to you folks. Folks need to know you're not worried about no court or lawyer. You're covered. Exactly. Just Mike said, I think she's still talking to multiple guy, multiple guys on her phone. And she probably is. You know, Walt don't care. He don't care. You know she's still talking to niggas. That's what that's what a 304 do. That's what she do. She ain't doing nothing with him. 
They ain't sleeping together. And like you said, they don't need kids. He ain't starting to kiss that um that mouth toe up. He ain't starting that. He ain't trying to put his mouth on that. I'm trying to tell you. For one, she smell like stale cheese. And, you know, stay. I mean, what are you going to want to be in the bed for when she got a whole damn smorgasbord of crumbs in the bed? Nobody want to do. Don't nobody want trying to lay with nobody that got, a, that got crumbs from uh, last month still in the bed. She had like she is saying the wall. She is. <laughs> she is. Exactly. Man, I would get ready to say that before I read your whole statement. Only place she take him is the supermarket. And you know he ain't too, she know he ain't going to be too loud in there. And even if he was, it's so much, you know what I'm saying? You really got to, I mean, scream. If, you know, you got to really be screaming in the supermarket for somebody to stop and be like, who the fuck is that? I mean, you could talk loud in the supermarket because everybody talking loud in there. And you're right, man. So that's the only place that she go with him to is the supermarket. That's it. Ain't no love there. Never was. Just because you press a report button doesn't mean it goes through. And most of the time, you have to send video proof. Okay? Man, she one body away from being toothless herself. <laughs> okay? Well, exactly. Them bad teeth and had a damn nerve to have bra- and she had braces. And her shit fucked up worse than mine. Them little damn teeth. I'm trying to figure out. And t- and and teeth just as yellow. I'm like, what in the hell happened? I thought you had braces, but you know, again, like I said, she had them braces just because she wanted to call her. She was trying to be young. That's what I think. Because she didn't do nothing for her teeth. How the hell are you gonna get braces? On baby teeth. Then take them off and your shit still a dull yellow. Damn. At least my shit white. Damn. Fine. I mean, it might not have but one or two, but damn, my shit white. What's up, Barbara? Barbara said, exactly, Mancy. Is man, she needs to pull those long braids off too, especially when she in there cooking. Uh, Mike, especially when she in there cooking, she stay playing in her hair when she in there cooking. I don't want nobody. To, I don't want nobody. That's why when I'm in the kitchen cooking, I got my hair up, cause I ain't get ready to keep playing and doing and stuff in my hair and trying to hold my hair back and everything. And I mean, you no, know, and then a lot of it too, she worked keep her hair down because she tried to hide that damn big ass stomach. That's what that is. Bitch done got she done got so big now, like I said, she uh, she looked like she about to drop. I would say probably eight months pregnant. Yeah, about eight months pregnant. Then got an urge to talk about somebody's stomach. Bitch, please. Big walrus looking ass. Barbara says she only on YouTube now because she don't have a job. This the same woman who always have her comments off. Exactly. That's because she's thirsty right now, Barbara. Like I said, she ain't got no job and everything. Because the story was she was going to leave YouTube. How long she been saying that? She ain't gonna leave you too. She's not gonna leave she cause she like the drama. She do, she like the drama. I'm so confused as to why when folks get mad, they want to invite you to fight. Motherfucker too old <laughs> too old for all that for real. Leave it on YouTube and let that be it. That's what I'm saying. She ain't gonna do nothing though. That's what I'm saying. Even if I did go to Memphis, what's she gonna do? Yeah, you really would have to come with something other than your hands if you want to try to whoop my ass. That's all I'm saying. 
go going up, going head head to head, bitch, you ain't got a chance. So yeah, with your scared ass. My thing is, don't talk about it, be about it. If you want to do something, yeah, I ain't gonna talk. I'm trying to get. I'm after somebody or or whatever. I ain't gonna talk about it. That's all her big stupid doofus ass is about. Is talk. Like I said, how the hell? How can the pot call the kettle black? You sit here communicating threats. Then you want to sit here and talk about an artistic kid. Now y'all ain't never heard me talk about her kids. It's always kept it on her, and, and that's it. But then she want to go and defame a 10-year-old artistic kid. Who do that? She want to turn down and defame a 10-year-old artistic kid that can't talk. Now, y'all tell me what kind of motherfucker is that? And she want to take somebody to court. That's why I said I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah, her stomach and on. Look like fucking balloons inflated. We can never be best of friends. Favor. We can never uh, be the best of friends because for one... I'm not uh not with that evil spirit that she got roaming around her and in in her mm -mm. I could never she could never no she got to get her spirit right. I know I do a lot of talking cuz a lot of minds is tripping and stuff, but she evil. She's an evil spirited person. Look how she draw the life out of her husband. Look how she sat there and she do her husband. He see it. He knows she ain't no good woman. He know that. That's why come he don't, they ain't got no bond. Uh-uh, you can't be, that's why you think she ain't got no friends? You don't never hear her talking about going, going, spending time or sitting with friends or, or families and stuff. Cause don't nobody, I'm telling you, that's an evil spirit. At least you hear me talk about, oh, um, I hung out with my cousins, hung out with this one, hung out with that. You don't never hear her talking about going none of her families and stuff. She don't go to her daughter that do with her no more. Go to hate to see her coming. No, we can never, no, not with the, not with the spirit that she got in her. Me and her can never be the best of friends. I promise you that. She is one motherfucker that I would never, ever, because she got a lot of hatred in her. She's selfish. She lie bad. And, uh, you know, she got that jealous spirit in her. You know, and she's the type of person. And I know this because I talked to her. We talked on the phone for months. I say we talked on the phone for a good six months. And she, you know, she she like for you. She, she like to be heard. That's why the fuck that I know what I know. Because she did all the damn talking. All I did was, uh-huh. I ain't do you. She ain't gonna let you get nothing in, cause she want to talk about her. Yeah, no, we could never be friends. And you got to agree with her. You don't agree with her. Uh, she got an attitude. Why you think she cut off uh Red? Her she that would she claimed that was her best friend. She claimed her and Red were best friends. And she cut Red off, cause Red didn't agree with her. So what that tell you? Yeah, and I know, and I know that's the truth because she why she got mad with me is because of the fact I didn't agree with her when she was talking about Nisha. No, I ain't getting ready to call you. No, you don't control me. You don't make me think just cause you you don't like her. I suppose or not like she ain't no. She ain't talking about me, even though I was talking about Nisha. And even Nisha took that, you know, even the stuff when I was talking about Nisha and stuff. She was even taking it as a joke until she went and sat on that panel with um, uh, Liquor House Trudy them, a.k.a. True Hurts. She's sitting up there and stuff. Then she, you know, she got that evil spirit in her. But before 
bitch, you was up here. You'd already done told her, but oh, I'm the cool. You were laughing at the way I was tripping on you. But then went and sat over there with them evil heathens. Then she wanted to turn. But that's okay. You know, but I'm just saying with old llama mouth. Yeah, she just, I'm telling you, evil. The evil at its finest. I'm telling you, ain't no good. Why you think she stopped talking? For no reason. She, she started hating on B-Love for no reason. B-Love ain't never did nothing to her. Ain't did nothing but show her love. And she ain't cared nothing about B-Love since she was from day one. And the only thing it is is jealousy because she ain't got what B-Love got. Her house ain't like, you know, she's struggling and B-Love ain't. That's all that is. So what, why, why would you have an attitude with somebody that you just... You know what I'm saying? That ain't did nothing but show you um, hospitality. B-Love even did the video show, and she showed it. Showed her sitting there. They first, when they first uh, come to me, uh, came to see B-Love, and they went to a hot dog stand. Stupid sitting over there on her phone mm -hmm. and everything while B-Love's sitting there. You know, she talking, having a good time. Why wouldn't you sit here and this your first time meeting her? Even if it ain't even ain't even talking about her being beloved, but this your first time meeting her as a sister-in-law. When you try to be over there and y'all try to get along, I mean, you can't tell me beloved didn't see the shade when she met that damn evil spirit. I know she then half the time, oh, I'm sick. I don't feel good. And that was only because she didn't have to, she didn't want to be down there with them. That's why she pretended to be sick. Then they go, it's her birthday. They go walking, trying to, you know, have some fun. Oh, I'm sick. My foot hurt. No, the whole time it was always didn't want to show up. Then the meet and greet. She deliberately, deliberately made sure that they were late getting there. So by the time they got there, be loved. You tell me that ain't evil. I ain't got to sit here and make this shit up. I know I'm talking about what shit y'all seen. Ain't nothing I said that she didn't put out there. So no, we could never be no damn best or nothing. Man, I told her walk was happier with Nisha. I know she read my comment. You know she did. You know he was happier with her. And that's why I come, that's the reason that she didn't care too much for B-Love. Because B-Love got up there, and when she talked about Nisha, she was like, oh, I like her. I like Nisha, Walt. I like you with her. And she ain't that told that bitch up. And she ain't been, she ain't had no good spirit with B-Love ever since. And she made it her business. They get her they get B Love back. And the way of getting B Love back was to turn to keep Walt from going up there. And then she did it. She worked on it. She made she made her business. She made it her business for Walt not to show up at the gatherings and stuff, the holiday stuff like he normally do. Then got him uh somewhat to against her. Cause what what would stop him? They didn't have they didn't go, they didn't do shit. They didn't go nowhere. So why would you stop your husband from going to see his family? Because she evil like that. She evil. She ain't got no family to go see. So she stopped him from going. Because they damn sure didn't do nothing. Nancy said she never defend him. She only say it's not about looks when she should be saying my husband fine to me. So he only a good provider. That's it. Yeah. No, she ain't never got nothing good to say about Walt. Except for when people start talking about him. And then she want to throw one or two good words in there about him and shit. No, she ain't never got nothing good to say. But like I said, Walt ain't crazy. You know Walt done fan. He done peeped it out. He know what kind of wife he got. If he would really... Sit down and tell the story. I met he would tell he would his story would sound just as similar as mine. He knows she ain't hit no shit. He knows she a big liar. 
He knows she make up stuff. He knows she turns stories around. He knows if he wants to hear the truth, he got to hear it from the person that she's talking about. Because she's not going to tell it the way she's supposed to. She ain't going to tell it the way she's supposed to tell it. She's going to tell it the way she wants to tell it. Not the way it happened. You think he don't know that by now? Yeah, he know her. He don't listen to her. That's why I say, here it is. She done took him off his game and everything. And she the one trying to, you know, gain shit. Stopped him from doing his lie because she wanted to come and tell him everybody talking about him and saying this and saying that. You know, my thing is, Walt shouldn't have never stopped. He would have blew, been blew her out the box. That's what she's scared of, because she's scared he do a lie now that he's going to get more hits than he is. He's going to get way more hits than she get, likes and stuff. People like Walt. They just don't like him. He don't like, they don't like him with her. That's the thing. They, they crazy about Walt. They just don't give a fuck about her. That's all that is. Man, she said, you remember... Some months back, she was supposed to be spilling tea, and she got enough followers, but that never happened. It, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't do nothing but tell lies. She ain't got no tea to spill. She ain't getting ready to tell nothing. What's she going to tell? If it is, it's some lies she made up. They said, I like you with Nisha in front of us. Cootie. That's just low key throwing shade. I mean, ain't no more than what she do. She said, I mean, you give her what she give. My thing is, there's a lot of people like him with Nisha. She know that. She ain't, it ain't no secret. That uh, people preferred him to be with Nisha than than being with her. At least, at least Nisha act like she can. At least they did stuff. And Nisha won't embarrass them. Nisha was crazy about it. But this motherfucker here, she she is embarrassed by the man that she married. Ain't her husband just somebody? It's a man that she married. That's what that is. She ain't got no bond with him. She don't go nowhere with him. She don't sit down. Only time she may, only time she want to have a conversation with him is when she want to bum rush, uh, bum rush his uh, video. That's the only time she want to have a conversation with him. Barbara said. Walt is a spineless man. He is so desperate for a place to say he would put up with anything. Walt loved going to be love. Yeah, he loved going to be love house, but she stopped it. Oh, what you say, D? No, I ain't talking about yummy bites. Uh uh. But I do. I think she about phony too, yummy. And she another one. She <laughs> she know people good too. She don't. Yeah. I'm about to cook me some breakfast. I'm about to find my other tripod because this one here, this one here, it moved too much. Yeah, I hope I get my babies today. Yeah, I hope I get them. Shit, my babies love to see, love to come 
and um, they love hanging out with me. Shoot. But see, I interact. I play with them. I chase them. Hmm. I wish I could. I should have showed y'all. Um, I should have showed y'all uh, when Sunday, when Casey and Mackenzie were playing. Now, you know, it's the funniest thing when you see a child tired. <laughs> I mean, K Casey was tired, but every time he would come, and you know they were playing racing, and every time, uh, I guess they made me the base. Boy, he made his business when he come. He was sat there, and he was. I mean, you you could see it in his face that he was tired. He, I mean, he that little boy was tired, boy. He would come, he would flop right in my lap. I suppose thing. It was just funny. I wish I could have. It was funny the way he was doing it. How he was um being, you know, <laughs> how he was tired though. Ooh, I said, Lord, that is funny, but to see a third child out of breath. I'm trying to fix this thing so I can. Mm. Let's see. Wait a minute. Ooh, I can't do that one because that's tight. What in the world is the other one I had? Oh, let it go over there. How in the world it get over there? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I can't get over how this bit done bit. I mean, did y'all see her in the kitchen? Standing there with them two little clothes on. That's another thing. I ain't got no word. I think she mad because I got more style than her. And I know I look better than her. But, you know, like I said, I don't. It's just sad. Let me just put it that way. Yeah. I think she mad because she broke down. That's what that is. Broke down and miserable. See, she in a life with a, something, she somewhere she don't want to be. Yeah. So she got to make up lies on people. Told y'all she lied bad. I mean, I look at that. Because like I said, I don't look at her shit all the time. Because I can't, I don't like to hear her voice. I really don't. And, uh, I mean, she in there telling lies. I mean, big lies. Oh, won't somebody go? And she, you ain't gonna do nothing but laugh at your ass after she realized you didn't do nothing but tell lies. Somebody gonna run and chase after something, a liar. And she don't care. See, my thing is, like I said, I ain't making up lies on her. She the one to go on and tell a lie. And then on top of that, not like I said, as sad as it is, she won't sit here and tear down and defame an autistic 10 year old. And you tell me that ain't you tell me that ain't sad. And you tell me that ain't easy. I don't care how many times I talk about her. Y'all don't hear me talk about her kids. Don't never talk about her kids. But yet she gonna talk and defame uh, uh, a special need child that can't talk. She gonna lie on lie on a child. Yeah, but y'all, but then, but I'm the evil one. I'm the evil one, and she sitting here lying on a child. A special needs child at this. Yeah, I done heard it all now. I thought, like I said, I knew she do evil shit, but I didn't know she was stoop that low. And but I, I mean, you know what? It ain't surprising. It ain't now that I think about it. It ain't surprising that um. It ain't surprising 
that she would talk about a child. It ain't, it ain't surprising because she ain't got no bond with no kids or nothing or whatever. So, you know. Yeah, why you think none of them, that's why come don't none of them mess with her? Because she don't have no bond with no child. She don't know how to interact with no kids or nothing like that. Like I said, why you think that daughter stay shut up in her room all the time? Most kids would come out and at least, you know, some of them would bum rush their mama, uh, bum rush their mama one or two times out of the thousands of videos they made. I mean, at least one or two times would uh, Ben done spoke and said, uh, uh, hey or something. That girl don't come out, don't have nothing to do with her. Nothing. I mean, and I say that because she's sitting here trying to act like the girl wanted to start a damn YouTube. If you go, I would think that that's all the more reason for it to start coming out is to start is is the show itself. No, they don't mess with that evil spirit. Like I said, them her own kids, and they don't mess with them. Yeah. Look how she sit here and lied on her son. Got up there and lied about oh he he was on death bed. Just for and that was just for views. Just for views now. She got up there and lied on her son. Yeah. Now, you know that you can't get no damn sadder than that, that you got to tell lies on your, about your kids. Health. Steak and eggs, But yeah, like I said, that's why I know I ain't no way in the world you gonna sit here and tell me she got some goodness. She got goodness in her when she gonna take and defame a 10 year old artist, artistic kid she gonna defame his character just cause she won't just cause she want to win and can't win she gonna tear a 10 year old artistic kid down that's sad that's really sad that you that she that's, and that's what and you tell now you tell me that ain't evil Y'all tell me that ain't evil that you go and tear down a 10-year-old autistic kid. Like I said, truth them, you got a lot of these uh, people out here. One thing about it, they are a, a, a lot of them. Now, some of them, just like her, will, you know, tear down a child and stuff. But I'm just saying, she get up here and try to perpetrate she all this and she all that. But yet, in the next breath, you want to turn down a special needs child. Lie on a special needs child. That's why I say, uh -uh, I ain't got nothing for no more. No. Because I ain't never, I ain't never, you know, talked about her kids. It's always been her. But like I said, because she can't win, she got to do evil stuff. But then want to say, then got to learn, then want to stand up there and tell a lie that I was talking about. I was, I was joking. When the fuck did I, I would love to know why she didn't say what I was joking about. 
Why did the specifically what 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 was that? I made a joke out of somebody being abused. Of course, then she wanted to say, "Bitch, ain't nobody fuck with you. Your big double wide Jeffro looking body ass. Ain't nobody fuck with your dumb ass. Don't no need to tell that lie. What they gonna beat you for when they didn't want you? I have motherfucker gonna whoop on you and they didn't want you. Make it make sense. Come out. Come out. She, um, come out. A guy, she had to do this and do that because he ain't did nothing but make up a lot. This is the first time since she been on YouTube and talked about she been abused. And that ain't nothing but a lie. She just wanted to co-sign co-sign and get more hits because she said that. Girl, sit your ass down somewhere. Somebody, ain't nobody believing that bullshit. Them dumb ass niggas that you got over there and this, this dumb thinking like she thinks. Told y'all she was evil. I ain't have to make nothing up. She proving it to be evil. So we, I ain't had to make. I ain't make up none of this. I ain't making up nothing. I tell you, her true colors come out. Evil can't stay shut down. I'm telling you, they would show her true colors, and that's exactly what she doing. God say was it, but I'm getting to understand. I didn't know y'all talk for six months. I just put this whole few guys down just to say, listen to you in the chat. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I appreciate it. I think I accept the blessing. Man, I said, she just mad, auntie, that she can't hang out with her grandkid. I think that's what it is, uh, man. So it got to be. It got to be that she's upset and she can't go. You know what I'm saying? She ain't grown enough to keep it on grown folks, so she want to hurt. She want to hurt and, and tear down a, a ten year old autistic child. That's where she got to go. And they don't see the evil in that. That she got to bring. She got to talk about a child. Cause see, she don't know nothing about. You know, she ain't never. She was no bought bought up on love. You know, all she know is uh, sexual love. You know, them them guys didn't do nothing but lie to her. She don't know nothing about no love. Like you said, she the one that told me that her mama didn't raise her. She was out there, I think, between either 13 or 17 when she said she left home. Because she didn't want to do, she didn't want to go by her mama rules. You ain't never heard me in none of since I've been talking. Y'all said shit about my mama didn't raise me. Like I said, my mom and daddy were together to the day they died. And we were with them. Now, it much love up. It went much love in our house. I don't know what the fuck she talking about. Baby, don't mistake my life with yours because mine way different. I had a lot of love, bond and shit. That's why I know how to do it. Now, you can't get love when you ain't never had it. You don't know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? You have that evil spirit. Because you don't know how to bond with nobody. You don't know how to love nobody. Look how you do your husband. Shit, look, like I said, the truth is, uh, the damn proof is in the pudding. How many times y'all see her, long as she been doing video, how many times have you seen her kids be at her house? 
And the only reason they was at her house that time with that seafood bowl because her mama was there. They were showing support to the to their grandma. It won't because of her. Yeah, she ain't got no bond with them young. And it's sad. Out of seven motherfucking kids, she ain't even ain't he got the bond with the one to stay there. The little uh young one to stay there. Ain't he got no bond with her? You see, she stays shut up in the damn room. They ain't gonna get mad because she see ain't nothing but love over here. She see I don't kids love up on me. Always coming and hugging and stuff. Want the kids, want to give me kisses. Yeah, I asked for them. I love kissing on my babies. They're my younger. When I supposed to do it? Hell, I kiss on my damn nephew. Now, that's uh, they 27 and 28 and 30. They know. Shit, I, they know, yeah, some of their aunt come and give me a hug, kiss on the cheek. That's exactly. That's how I raised them. Who don't kiss on their kids? You got damn, you got damn mamas now that their sons and shit will come in and kiss them on the jaw. Their son kiss in the mouth. I ain't with, I mean, to each his own. I ain't knocking no damn body that, you know, they do what they do or whatever. But no, we don't kiss in the mouth. It's the cheek, you know, cheek. That's what's up. Or the forehead. So, no. But see, she don't know nothing like that because she ain't, she didn't grow up on that. All she know is uh, love, uh, when a nigga say he love her, all she know is to spread her legs. That's it. That's love to her when she's sitting there on her back with her legs open and motherfucker digging in. Yeah, that's all she know. So she wouldn't know. She To her, it would be strange. To her, it do look, it probably do look perv to her because she don't know nothing about it. She been per perverted all her life with men and stuff. So she don't know, you know. So I kind of, I'm going to kind of feel sorry. I kind of feel sorry for her because she don't understand love and nourishing when it comes to kids and stuff. She don't. So, you know, I kind of feel sorry for her. And when the lawyer find out, and I want the lawyer to investigate. I really do. I want the lawyer to investigate me and my babies. And stuff, uh, relationship. I want them to investigate. And then she gonna really look like a sick duck. Cause they ain't gonna, guess who, like I said, guess who gonna walk out of there with their head between their legs after they realize the love over here and the hatred over there. Yeah, especially when they know she talking about a special needs child now and lying on them. Yeah. They don't just say, Auntie, I can't wait to get you. Get our truck fixed. We will go to breakfast at least twice a week. You drove like Ace Ventura. And I was scared most of the time, but I still love a good biscuit. I know that's right. And I just seen, I was going, uh, yesterday, I was in uh, on 70. And I just noticed, like, going to Clayton. And I just noticed that they have a, um... Biscuitville. You know, Biscuitville got some good food now. I told Charlotte, I said, okay. D A H said, Miss D, you are funny. <laughs> Bertha, what's up, Bertha? Bertha said, oh, cootie is just a waste of good bread. <laughs> okay, that's all. That's all it is, Bertha. That's all it is. Ain't nothing but talk and don't do nothing but make up lie. And the sad part is her husband know it. You know that man, I don't care, a motherfucker going to know a liar. And I know he got, I know if he were to sit down and somebody told him they pay him $500 an hour to tell the truth what kind of marriage he got. Well, $100, he'll tell it. Yeah, he know he married into some shit. He know it ain't nothing there. He know he see... The kids don't never come over. She ain't never on the phone with the kids. Hiding all the time in the bedroom with the crumbs on the bed and shit. Everything strolled on the floor because she a hoarder. You know, he see it. He know what kind of he know what kind of beast he married. I ain't got to sit here and put it out there. He know what kind of beast he married. <gasps> ain't no telling Lucille. What's going on? That's my girl. 
Ain't no telling Lucille. What's going on, Lucille? Now, what in the world? Happy New Year. Yes, everything is good. Still trying, I mean, I finally got over this cold. Still got this little cough lingering. But, you know, a little dry cough. But I'm good. How you been? What's up with you? I know you don't have the same number. Are you on Facebook, Lucille? Last time I seen you, we hung out together at the, um, we hung out at the, uh, look at how, had a good time, too. You were looking good, too. I like, look at Lucille, which, you know, you always, you didn't miss a beat, no way. You a little dressing ass now. Tiny little something. Yeah, everybody remember you? Barbara said, she said in her video when she was talking about the lawyer, she said she was going to mention something about Wilbur saying you were. Yeah. That's why I come out said I ain't worried about her. But once they, if they going to do the digging they going to do, they going to find out that she the idiot and she delusional. So I ain't even worried about that. I'm glad you missed us. We missed you, Lucia. What's going on? What's up with you? Miss DeAndre said, Barbara, she can't accuse aunt of anything at all. When it comes to Wilbur, all that was about was her attempting to hit onto where it would hurt her the most. That's what she thinks, because I, like I said, mm-mm. You can't even fuck with me on that when I know what the fuck, when I know what the fuck is really going on. See, when I know that you trying to do what, what it is, it just showed me how ignorant she is that she had to go that low to talk about a special needs child. That, then that's what the point, see, that shows her evil. That's the thing it was. And in a sense, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm glad she showed her true color. I'm glad she let them people see just how fucked up she is. Who talk about a child that that special needs? Who? A evil motherfucking evil spirit. That's what that's who talk about a, a, a special needs child. Her. Evil spirit. And that's what it is. So, you know, like I said, I sort of feel I, I don't I said I feel sorry for, her, but I don't. I don't feel sorry for. Her. Cause you know, she should know better. You well, at least, if you know you ain't doing better, you should do something to try to do better. But she don't care. She's an evil spirit. So, like I said, you baby, you can go do any lawyer in the motherfucking world. And ain't none of them going to come out and you going to win this one. Hell no. So, I'm not even, no. She don't mess with me on that. It just break, let me know how more fucked up she is. Because something can't mess with something if it's a lie. If that, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Nothing don't bother me. When you want to sit here and lie on me and shit, I just want you to prove it. That's all. Since you claim it, bitch, prove it. That's what I want you to do. Because you don't know nothing about love. You ain't never been shown love. Your kids don't fuck with you. Your grandkids don't fuck with you. So you mad. So now you want to use the love that I got for Wooga them. You want to use that and turn that around as being something other than what it is. So I ain't no. Mm-mm. I want her to prove it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, call call the lawyer. Yeah. So. Yeah, I love all mines. I mean, yeah, I talk about Wooga the most, but I love all of them. I, you know, I get all my hugs and kisses from all of them. So, they ain't just, I mean, yeah, Wooga is because of the simple, simple fact, I just feel like he require more attention, you know, because he ain't, he don't do what the rest of them do. So I got to keep my eyes on them. They all my heart, yeah. I know, y'all, she was just talking crazy. People was agreeing with her. Well, they can agree with her. I mean, like I said, they just as ignorant as she is. They won't just, you know what I'm saying, they just as dumb as fuck as she is. And them were the ones that hate on me anyway, so I don't worry about them. You know what I'm saying? She got she got her crew. 
that, that hate on people that co-sign with her. You know, and that's fine. I'm not going to get ready to sit here and try to dispute with them ignorant-ass people. I mean, because they mad, because they can't do they can't do shit to me. They can't touch me. So quite naturally, they're going to say stupid shit. Exactly, uh, DeAndre. People going to get grass at straws for nothing, for real. So I ain't know uh, I'm about to. <laughs> I'm sick of tiny teeth, okay? <laughs> Man, she said you. You said you kept telling her to smile. Exactly, cause she. I mean, her damn teeth is down in her damn gum. She ain't gotten. That's why I was like, what the fuck was you put? But then again, she wore them braces cause she thought she was gonna keep up with the young folks. Damn, just said, Makiba, I don't watch her at all. <laughs> Makiba said, me either. I said, tiny teeth. She gets so mad when people ask, do she got teeth? <laughs> y'all is crazy. I know y'all ain't asked that motherfucking llama. And she got teeth. <laughs> <coughs> Mama said they get mad. She get mad when they ask, do she got teeth? <coughs> oh, my God. Uh, just, I mean, because, <coughs> for Kiva, I want to go in on her. You know, for Kiva, that's why I can't watch anything because y'all know how I am when it comes to Wanda. No, Wanda is not right all the time. But who's perfect? Right. And I don't claim to be right all the time. Y'all know that. And when I'm wrong, and that's the thing about it, like, with y'all over here. When I'm wrong, y'all don't have no problem with correcting me. And I don't have no problem with that. But see, when you dealing with them and the other people that they, they, they got real hatred in them, them the ones that go deleting comments. And then they, I think somebody over there said something that they said something and I deleted their comment. I ain't deleted shit. And that's how you know they telling a the lie. And they ain't over here. That one woman talking about, oh, she had a comment. She was going, that uh, same, I don't know, but see, it was a different name. Now, I don't even remember that name. See, that's how they tell lies, too. Even got the people in the chat line, oh, I went over there, I said this, she deleted me. Deleted? I ain't deleted the motherfucking thing. And y'all know, even my moms know, DeAndre know. I even asked her sometimes, why does she, you know, don't delete everybody? Let them talk. So I know they mo y'all know them motherfuckers lying talking about I deleted some damn body. Now I was doing it this I was doing it when I know it's a troll, they're just saying stupid shit. Yeah, I delete them. But if it's somebody that come in my chat and just like God's favor was in here. Now she started off, she started off just talking and going in having a conversation. I, I was going, I was talking to her. She won't, she, this way here, she won't on my side and she won't on Cootie's side. She was just talking. But see, Cootie them probably would have deleted her for just asking questions. So that, you know, but no, no, I'm not going to sit here. And if my mods ain't in my chat, and no, I'm not going to sit here and have. Uh, troll saying dumb shit. Oh, I farted. Oh, I said this. Oh, I ate this. No, I'm not, I don't want none of that dumb shit. Yeah, you're going to be ignorant. And yeah, I'm going to delete stuff like that. But if you coming in with a general conversation and we talking, no, I'm not going to delete it. We're going to go back and forth with it and, and talk long as, uh, long as you want to talk. That's all. If you don't get disrespectful and shit, yeah, you stay in. So that's why I don't understand they ran over that line to her. Oh, she and no one ain't delete shit. Expect that one, Samantha. Me and her were talking. She was going back and forth. Even her talking about trying to stand talking about I was in the when they were talking about me and I was uh joking about the abuse. I, I would love to know. I want somebody to send me that lamb link where I was making a joke about Q 
being abused. Only damn thing I said about that is, okay, if she was abused, why she didn't call the police? And I said it ain't too late. Especially when she said she got she got taken advantage of. When did I make a joke out of it? I'm not saying they the ignorance, motherfucker. But you know, you expect no better. Because look at the motherfucking one they follow. Because she just as bad and fucked up as they come. So they ain't got no, you know what I'm saying? When they, when the person you follow and shit is a big liar and stand up and, and make up shit, you know, they tend to follow that same damn uh, lead. I appreciate y'all. Y'all ain't got to be mad. Y'all ain't got to be mad. We just can hook them right on up with talking shit. <laughs> Barbara says she's trying to cover them two big black eyes. That's all they do. And she mad because they, they come out, they start to move. They don't come all the way, they don't come all the way down here. Mm -hmm. They was a little bit under her eye. Now they don't come all the way down here. Yeah. Face turning black. I know she hate that. Man, she said, that, that really pissed me off. I told her that somebody must have touched her grandson because he's a little fruity. I don't talk about people, kid. That just did something to my soul. Okay? That's what I'm saying. I don't talk about people, kids either, but the thing about it is, when you want to come, I mean, especially the child now. And she always going and always, tell, that's the first thing out of her mouth, quick to say somebody touching somebody or something. So that make me, who, how many people do you know that do that all? She do it all the time is talking about somebody touching somebody. If it ain't a grown person touching somebody and, or she talking about somebody touching her or she talking about some, a woman, a uh, private part or she ready to get into bed with somebody, something ain't right. That's all she know. But see, that's all she was brought up on is uh, sex. So she can't do nothing but talk about sex. That's all she was brought up on. Like I said, she left home with between the age of 13 and 17, and she don't know nothing but laying on her back. So I, I can understand that being her, uh, her go-to all the time. So that's all she know. She, all she know is sex. That's all she know. So... I kind of, you know, on that, you, you see why she don't know nothing and don't know nothing better, than, but always accusing, talking about somebody's body parts, or she ready to get in the bed with somebody, or always talking about somebody, well, I, ain't no way in the world, Walt, your own damn husband don't even want you, so why the hell you think somebody else wants you? Where am I? Damn husband don't even want your ass. And you thinking that you you really think somebody else wants you? Why you think them people at, at work let you go? Why you think they let you go? Really, seriously, why do you think the people at your job let you go? Walk your ass up out of there. Didn't try to come and make it seem like want to tell everybody a lie. Girl. They being ready to get rid of your ass. Mm-hmm. Being ready to get rid of her ass. Because she evil. I can imagine how she was at that damn, at that place. Well, are we talking about women jealous of her? Girl. And you know when you hear about a woman talking about somebody jealous and ain't never got the story behind it, you know who the one, you know the jealous one. Yeah, you know the jealous one.
But I just, like I said, she had really, my thing is, she had really, uh, I had really seen another side of her when she sit here and talk about a child, a special needs child. <clears throat> And you know something ain't right. That you got to go that far. Then put to talk about a child with special needs. Yeah, I keep talking about it because I'm a, I mean, I'm really, I am really, really a, appalled. Because I didn't think, I mean, I know she did, she was evil. But I didn't never think. I would never think that she would talk about. Now I got to rethink when she was talking about uh, true deceased son. Yeah, she evil. Yeah. I tried to defend her back then, but now, you know, now that I think about it. She said, I mean, she deliberately went and talked about this woman, deceased son. Yeah. Just the same way uh, Baina talked about truth, deceased son. Yeah. And we all know Baina evil. <clears throat> we all know they, she evil. But damn, I can't, like I said, I did have a little bit of you know, I had a little bit of things saying that, you know, Kuda had morals and she wouldn't do this and she wouldn't do that. But now I see, yeah, she really meant what she was saying when she was talking about truth, deceased son, when she shouldn't have had no business putting her mouth on her son anyway, because you were saying it for no good. And that's evil. No, who the no, mm mm. I bet she didn't tell Walt that. I bet she didn't tell Walt she was talking about um she was talking about that woman uh deceased son. And ain't nobody talked about her kids now. But yet that's why I say she evil. I don't know how no I don't know how any more ways to put it. But to say, she, anytime you got to go as far and to put a child in your battle, yeah, you sick, your mind, something wrong, you, you ain't, and then walk, got a nerve to call somebody crazy. No, nigga, you stand with the crazy bitch. See, the difference is, see, she's standing there and tell you what people talking about and probably lying about the shit that she tell him when she tell him people talking about this and talking about that. See, she probably amp it up and everything else. See, because he ain't going checking for himself. All he doing is listen to her side of it. But see, I guarantee you, if you were to tell her, if you were to tell Walt she talks about a special need child and people dead kids, I bet you have I bet you have another way of thinking about shit. I bet you she ain't taking the time to tell him that. That she talking about special needs kids or uh, deceased kids. Yeah. Bet she ain't telling them that. But uh, but she in that line that he want to call somebody crazy. No, nigga, you with you married a crazy bitch. You married a crazy bitch. Always trying to act like she gonna do so much, but you ain't gonna do shit. You can't even half-ass walk. How you gonna whoop, think you gonna whoop somebody ass? The only way you able, able though, yeah, quite near, anybody can beat somebody ass if they coming with some some type of weapon. That's her shit. They go without talking about it. But come come square up real with without uh something a uh, weapon. Then how much? Then what you got? Tell me what you got then. 
And then damn grown ass woman come out fighting. Boy, I tell you the damn truth. That girl, I tell you she's sick and y'all don't get it. That bitch sick. She is really literally sick. Uh, it's 60 years old and talking about damn fighting. Okay, they co sign with her though. With the evilness that she got going on. I don't, like I said, she can have, yeah, anybody go over there, since she wants to tell Q some shit, somebody run over there to Q channel and, and tell her how she talking about a special needs child. Yeah, run over there and tell her that, since she wants to co-sign with something. Yeah, evil, evil ass. Somebody run over there and uh, tell Q they look at her channel where she was talking about her damn her husband and the husband family. Since she wanted to tell something, let's see who think. Let's see who Q and she had to make a choice who was the crazy one, who the evil one is. Yeah, let's see. Since she wanted to tell something, how about I run over there and send Q some shit links to her craziness and her madness, especially what she talking about. Especially when she talking about a special needs child. Y'all send her that video. Send her that link when she talking about a special needs child. Because she ain't got no win. She want to bring kids in. That's how she did truth, though. And that was sad that she, like I said, and I, I said it back then. Even though I was defending her to a certain extent. But I said it back then. She ain't had no business bringing up that woman uh, uh, son. Not at all. None. That was between what they were talking and, and, and going back and forth with. That was between her and Truth. It had nothing to do with True son that would lay the rest. Nothing. But see, when she can't win, that's what she do. She go to break. She want to go and talk about. She want to talk about people, kids. They want to in the next breath. Wanting to talk about she's some type of godly woman. What godly woman talk about kids? Special need kids and deceased kids. Ain't no godly in that. Y'all don't see it. I mean, some of y'all don't see it. And thinking I am just talking. That bitch evil. Okay, I mean, you know, I didn't never bring up none of her kids. It was always about her. I'm trying to say somebody being this and being that. But like I said, I get it because when you ain't never been showed, when you ain't never been showed love as a coming up, you don't know what it is. So to her, it could, in her mind, it might look funny to her. But she don't know what love is. When you don't know something, something is funny to you. You don't know what a bond is. Cause you ain't never had you don't you ain't never had a bond. All you know is laying on your back, spreading your legs to you, that's love. Shit, you the one that ready to give a damn 26 year old some man. There ain't no way in the world, like we said. Before, ain't no way in the world no 26 year old gonna feel comfortable talking about he gonna touch your ass if you ain't been flirting with him from the jump. So she can go on with that. She done been flirting that little boy since she been there. Then she probably saw him talking to another female and pissed her off. Then they got into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She ain't never been loved. Why you saying, hey, that's why it came along, how she uh, used uh, Walt. 
She know nothing about no dough. She don't want them now. But she just stay with him because of the fact, because of YouTube. I guarantee you, if she want on YouTube, if her and Walt want on YouTube, her and Walt wouldn't be together. She'd have been sent him to the curb. But see, because she wanted to prove a point, because she wanted to prove a point, the YouTube, you know, she'll stay with him in, until to the end of time. Just, until she, put it this way. She'll stay with him as long as she on YouTube. When she quit YouTube, that's a sign. She getting ready to send him to the curve. Bleed it. Well, she's so scared that Nisha gonna be back in the picture. Yeah, she stayed. That's why she stayed with Walt. She's so scared that he gonna run back to Nisha. She don't know what to do. Tell me. That's why I think. That's why I think the stress showing her eyes. That's why them. That's why her eyes is getting them bags under her eyes getting black and black. That's stress. That's the stress that she got going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was talking to my friend last night. Kind of felt sorry for him because he was lost. He was um, hold on, y'all. Cut the whole damn ocean of catfish and walk through that shit away. And y'all know that's his favorite fish. I seen him throw that slab away. I said, wait, something ain't right now. I ain't never known you to throw no fish away. <laughs> you really throw that shit away. Like, I think the fuck died. Uh, he proved us every day. And he ain't got to prove because he, he ain't even got to say nothing. We see it. Damn, why is it always dark? Thank you. Good morning, Farrah. How's it going? Good morning, Farrah. What's up, Heidi? Oh, you did. You caught it. I be trying to catch yours. I'm still looking because I want to get, I want to, um, send me the link. I want to get some, uh, you sell lipstick. I know you got to sell lipstick, right? You know, I love, I like that red you be wearing. I mean, I like all the colors, really. Send me a link, baby. 
Y'all, that's my girl Heidi. Don't y'all forget to check her out now. Y'all check out her channel. Heidi. Ain't Heidi. It's, she got it there. The name of her channel is right there. And she is excellent at what she do. She got the voice for it. And she way, I mean, the way she do it. She don't cuss like I cuss. She cuss, but she don't cuss like I do. Y'all will like it. Go over and show my girl some love. Howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Mm. I'm sitting here, y'all. I said, ever since that shit about them eggs, I can't eat a damn egg without getting that white shit out of it. Tell y'all can't tell me everything. Just like I don't like to know you ain't got the t fuck. For the damn ants to start. I got some for the ass. Yeah. I can't cook a damn egg without getting this white shit out of it. Hell yeah. Hate it because it's made me not even want to eat a damn egg. I got to do all this. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. I take the time to do it. Mm -hmm. I used to get it with a spoon. I mean a fork. But that fork, it slipped right through that spoon and a piece of paper towel. All day, every day. You don't miss it. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Make me holler. Make me holler. But that's just how I am. I hate it. If we had never been talking about eggs, I wouldn't have never I'd have missed this part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got it, baby. come out like that. I'm going to have to get these eggs here more often. But them other eggs, I'm going to have to get the eggs with the um, I'm going to show you when I get up. Because I can easily get the white out of these than I can, you know, the regular ones. The regular ones, I got to fight. All my life, I had to fight. That man said, you said a mouthful just ain't no love in that household. It ain't. 
No, none of them, bought, uh, Bertha, don't, none of them mess with her. And she also see how we love on you as well. I haven't seen her do a P.O. Box gift opening or anything. That's what I'm saying. None of that. But you know, she gets, she thinks she, but that ain't, they don't make her too good. Cause shit, people were sending uh, B Love um, uh, gifts and stuff, and still live sending her gifts. Ain't nobody trying to send her nothing. Cause they see, they might sit here and try to act like they co sign with her and agree with her. But that's just to keep her. A lot of times, you got to understand now. A lot of times, people, these trolls, say stuff. A lot of times, these people say stuff just to keep stuff going. And see, she fall for the okie doke. Half the time, them people don't. Half the time, them people ain't. Um, they ain't really co-signing with her. They just want to keep her talking. She dumb enough to do it. She dumb enough to do it. And, and I say, they keep her talking to the point where she keep, she end up saying stupid shit. And she ain't caught on yet. What's up, mad dog? Can you see mad dog? But, you know what I'm saying? Mad dog, a lot of it seems stupid and super childish to me, but whatever. Most definitely, Jordan, most definitely. You can do it. You can get back on your path. You got to, you got to want to. Sometimes you got to want it. Can't just, I mean, you can pray. You can pray all day. You know what I'm saying? But God got to see you want to make that effort and stuff. You can't just say praying and then you ain't making no effort. Then God see that you ain't trying. So He just, you know what I'm saying, until he see that you do better and you want to do better and can do better, then that's when he step in. Yeah. Uh, but mm-hmm. always, Jordan. <laughs> they good, uh, Lucille. My baby, your baby's good. Yeah, your baby's good. See, even Lucille know. She done met Wooga. So she knows. That's why I said, that dumb bitch don't know what the hell she talking about. We're talking about a damn stupid shit she talking about. I said, I ain't even got the key. I ain't even got the uh, worry about it. I don't worry about that shit. It was just, like I said, it was ignorant of her to say. But that's what evil do. That's what evil do. Like I said, when you don't know nothing about it, you ain't never been a part of anything concerning love except for laying on your back. You don't know nothing. Yeah. Like I said, Lucille, and she met, and she met Wooga Mama. So, she know, she saw the love that won't know pretend. And my thing is, his mama ain't stupid. I mean, we put it this way. I don't grieve. And that, that ain't no secret either. I don't grieve with a lot of shit how his mama, how Wooga mama uh, raising him and the stuff that how she doing. A lot of shit I don't agree with. And they know I don't. I ain't had nothing back. Same shit I say up here. Same shit that I say I have said to her. So she know how I feel. She know how I feel about her when it comes to Wooga and, and the mistakes and the stuff that she doing and not doing. That ain't no secret. Oh, then they want to get up and talk about that. Oh, she talk about his mama. I damn sure do. I talk about his mama and I talk to his mama. Shit. 
Like I tell you, right now, if you would ask them, they would tell you, oh, I ain't no secret. I don't want to tell let me know what's on her mind. Damn sure do. Why you think half the time, many times, we don't have a little powwow where she won't brain wooker because she mad about something I done said to her. The fuck? I don't play about my damn young. Hell, they don't. Oh, she talk about the mama. The mama know that. Hell, ain't held nothing back from telling her what how I fucking feel. Shit. But guess what? When she get out of her damn feeling, guess what she bringing? Guess who? Guess what she bringing Wooga back to? Okay, yeah. One damn thing about it, she if they, she even thought, even down to the grandma and the other and his su- and uh uh his mama sister. Don't you think if they thought something was fucked up? Don't you? Do you think they really would be putting their damn grandson and son and nephew in harm's way? They talk stupid. A whole other family. You mean to t- you mean to tell me that if they thought something was going on, you, they would still let that child go? Come on now. That's why I say they some ignorant asses over there. I want her go on, yeah, go on and put it out there to your lawyer. I want to see this. Yeah. Go on and hook it up, Cootie. I'm ready. I am ready. I am ready to see your ass in court. I really am. I'm ready to see your ass in court. And that's on God. You gonna do it, gonna do it. I'm ready. So I want you to prove that. Mm Mm-hmm. I want you to prove that. Ain't do nothing but the damn lawyer gonna look at her like she damn crazy. And knowing he gonna see that she's spiteful. That's another thing he gonna see. He gonna see ain't no lawyer and shit. Like like Manson said, you just can't pay your damn rent, bitch. You just got off and uh got walked out of your job. How you you can't afford no damn lawyer. Unless you gonna go begging. I don't see your chick chillings paying for no damn lawyer lawyer for your dumb ass. I like this cheese. It's blocks. We put six in there. Six should be more than enough. That's what I want somebody to do. I want somebody to go to Q page and show how she talking about kids and stuff. Lying on special needs kids. That's why I want somebody to do. Since she want to tell so much, tell that. I bet you ain't told Walt that. I bet you she ain't told Walt she talking about somebody's child. I bet you that. But you know, she's sick anyway. You know, she was about to accuse Walt of uh, abusing Day Day. Yeah. She done, she said when it comes to them kids now, she'll lie on a damn child in a minute and don't care. Uh, that's why I'm about to believe something wrong with her. Yeah, because she, she'd already done said she thought Walt was doing something to Day Day. Just say. But you got your big grown nasty ass always got to bring innocent kids in this in a situation. It's sad. Something ain't right about this. Something ain't right about a grown woman all the time bringing up kids in a negative way. Something ain't you got to tell you can't tell me something ain't wrong with that picture. Something wrong with that picture now. Ever since she been on YouTube, she don't miss a beat. We're talking about uh, somebody child. And like I said, even with the fact she tried to accuse Walt of doing something with Day Day. Uh, t- even talking about she, he abused Day Day.
I'm trying to figure out what's her, what's the deal with her and these kids and shit. What the fuck is really going on? That's what would need to be investigated. I don't blame her kids. I don't want her around my youngest either. I'm going to tell you, that's the honest truth. The more she talk, is the more she let, she let it be known that just what type of person she is, the more she run her mouth. And like I said, I don't blame her kids one bit for um, not wanting to have the youngins around her. She a bad influence. She really is. She bad. I won't want my kids around. They wouldn't want to be talking to her or anything. There ain't no telling what kind of shit she would put in their head. Because you know, like I said, if her own daughter that stay right there in the house with her don't never show up or try to be in a video, something ain't, what's wrong? Something ain't right about that. Don't never say, hey, don't never, no. And she even tried to start a channel. You would think that if you're trying to start a channel, that since your mama got one and everything, you would try to want to come. You would try to want to come and be seen. Not her. She don't give two fucks about being on her mama channel at all. She don't want to be bothered. She don't want to be talked to. None of that. It's just a sad situation. And I guess, like they said, she don't know nothing about love. They don't care nothing about uh, uh, I don't think I got the same number, Lucille. But email me. I got the same email address, but if you email me on on my own zero twenty at gmail dot com, email me. What's up, Earth? Good morning. Thank you for the blessings. What's up, psychology? Psychology eats in the house. <laughs> We ought to ask psychology to analyze what's going on with this girl forever. I'll wait time out. Time out, Jesus. I'm trying, Lucille. I'm trying, baby. I'm trying. Brother said, I don't think she is mad. She doesn't want to be bothered with any of them. She's, she lays on her back in bed advertising to any man looking. Okay? <laughs> hey, Saida. Hey, Claudette. Oh, you good, baby. You good. We all, like I said, I ain't, I ain't knocking nobody because I know. I know what it feel like, Claudette. I know what it is. Mm -hmm. Be patient and it'll come to you. It'll come back. It'll come back around. I mean, the steak it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to turn around for her. Hey, Angela. Good morning, baby. Hurry, Ashley. 
What's that, Bo? Well, you know how that goes. Um, hmm. YouTube being not giving uh, notification. This before I even started my channel was growing. You know, that's all I used to hear when people come in my live. I ain't getting no notification. I ain't getting no notification. So. Keep it said she was messing with someone or some ones <laughs> at her job and she hit the fan. That's what it was. That's why she got walked up out of there. Because if you remember, if you remember, some lady came into her live one time, she had a live and said it that. Uh, she was messing with her husband. She she called her husband, <clears throat> texting him and uh old him and Cooter Road with texting. Mhm. Mm That's why she left that down. That's what got her out of that job. She gonna like I said, she ain't gonna tell the truth. But the woman came and told the truth that she was messing with her husband. Who said hoes do be mad and jealous, but nobody jealous of uh Kudero, monotone, boring, satanic, <laughs> jimpy leg ass. Exactly. <clears throat> Who the hell what has she got for somebody to be jealous of? She's sitting up there looking like she about to drop uh, twins at this point. I always want to talk about how somebody look. Mm -hmm. Boo says she's stirring up all this chaos just so she can pay that um, car note next month. Mm-hmm. She probably got fired for attendance not going to work so she can go to the hotel. All right. <laughs> mm. Thank you, Ringo. You have a great day, too. I made some eggs and um, a steak. Which is good. Ah! Rex says she just mad Walt can't get her pregnant. Baby, if that big bitch could get pregnant, mm. Yeah, I saw him pour all that hot sauce on it. That's just so he could eat it. That's why, because he put all that hot sauce on it. He didn't want to eat it. Because you know that's his fish there, catfish. And evidently, she must didn't do it right or something, because I ain't never known Walt to waste no fish. I mean, he won't going to go back to that either. Yeah. And I didn't see the beginning of her video, but I know she was saying something about, I guess she was talking about Walt being in the kitchen and don't clean up behind himself. I guess that's what she was saying. But like I said, she ain't never got nothing good to say about her. How you going to stand and say, oh, um, he don't clean behind himself, but you stand up there with everything in the damn kitchen that you just can't eat everything everywhere. I said walk crazy. I don't give a fuck what she thought. If I want to get in there and cook something, I'm going to cook. For walk, he like to cook. He do, he like to cook. 
And she making me just eat her food. He don't want me to eat that shit. I bet she didn't eat none of that chili he made. I promise you, I ain't, I ain't eat there. But I can promise you she didn't eat that chili he made. Her other daughter. <laughs> Barbara says she don't want no baby from Walt. She don't even like him, okay? You sound real stupid. Just time ago, I said the mold on my nephew lip is sexy. It is sexy. It is. And then this stupid bitch gonna say because I said he taking me out for my birthday. Why not? Yeah, you going somewhere because you better dumb as she is. I ain't even get ready to elaborate on that. Oh, I still stand by. Hell yeah. I think my little 10 year old nephew is very handsome and sexy. He looked good in his clothes and all of that. What I supposed to say? Oh, he look a hot mess. Oh, he this and he that. Cause you ain't like I said again, you must be one of the ones that ain't never had no compliments or no love or nothing like that. I'm sorry for you, but yes, I get my kids compliments. Mm-hmm. Hell, his mama even said. Mm -hmm. Going somewhere. You left probably Cruise Road talking stupid anyway. Rev said, walk to like his, his mouth hurt. Hmm. You want some fish and grits? I don't see mad dome. I don't see. Let's go down to the end. <laughs> Bouquet. Bouquet said, Why is that weirdo making honey and hot sauce? <laughs> Cause she tried, but mm, cause she tried to make some things. She gonna put something out there, baby. Mm. You need some red cuts for your uh, look at this weekend. What you doing this weekend, Rash? Ladybug said, "Oh, I forgot to mention this earlier, Yonka." That's why I walked still there because of that spaghetti. She put in something in it. People did that back in the day. She might be now, Ladybug. I heard, yeah, they used to say that back in the day. That um, women, you got to watch eating women's spaghetti. Because during that time, they might, if the men, um, if the monthly on, they'll put some in huh? Y'all believe that? I ain't gonna say ain't no female done it, but I don't think just because you put some, um, I don't think if you put some, some of that in in a person's food, that's gonna make 
They, I don't believe it now. I don't believe in uh, superstitious stuff, but ain't no telling. She probably, because she looked like one of them damn voodoo people that believe in voodoo and shit now. They ought say, if you keep getting the views, I'm gonna be able to take you to Wonder World. Okay. Yeah, but you know the sad thing about it? Now, this before, and it ain't got nothing to do with uh, dumbass Cootie. Now, but it would have, I'm gonna tell you how funny uh, YouTube is. Now, even, you know, before, when I was on, even on my channel with, uh, they lie bad. You know, I was getting 14, 11, and 10K views, right? Well, tell me why. Tell me why when I get views like that, I always get limited. Um, the, the monetization is limited. And I always got to do a, a review. But now if I stay with as uh, long as it's 2K or 4K, that don't they don't limit that and i'm thinking about i mean hell I ain't doing even with that I ain't doing no more than what the fuck i do on the rest i'm on all my uh videos i'm doing and talking the same so how is this one limited and the other ones ain't limited why come every time one come up that's 20k 14k or 10k that come up limited but if i do 3K or 4K, uh, anything anything over, I say 4K, they limited. I'm telling you, uh, YouTube full of shit. And this, like I said, I won't even talk about cutie, cutie won't even my motherfucking uh, topic back then when I was on Live Bad. I won't even talk about her back then when I was on my live bad channel. I was still talking about, um, I mean, I had started talking about different shit, or different people. Yummy. I was talking about Adrian. I mean, I was, I was on everything. I think that's why I was talking about Risa Tisa on the live bad channel. Yeah, and they were limiting shit. So, I, like I said, YouTube be on some shit. I think they're trying to get to the point where, um, I think they're trying to get to the point where they're trying to get back, like, about as strict as, uh, TikTok. But hell, if they get, they start trying to do shit like TikTok, they gonna be banning a whole motherfucker, a lot of people's shit. I promise you that. Everybody's shit gonna be in jeopardy. Beauty and Brains said, try Zytic Allergy Med. That's what helps her. I don't have allergies. The only time I have allergies is if I, I might wake up in the morning. But I ain't had that in I don't know when. Where I would wake up in the morning and start sneezing and stuff. I did that when I was younger, but... I don't really have allergy. And uh like this pollen and shit. What I do with my other people? Oh. Um pollen, that don't make me pollen don't make me sneeze. Mm-mm. I don't really they, I'm glad I don't have allergy. But I did, like I said, I used to every morning get up and have a um I would just start sneezing. But I don't do it no more. It's been a while since that happened. And I said, Stephanie, no, what are her eyes and forehead banging? Hey, lovely. Lovely said, oh, yeah, that sucks. Mine's are usually due to stress. Why well, I thought of it. What's up, Tom? What's going on with you? Yeah, I know. 
But like I said, they do me wrong when it comes to my big views. Like I said, depending on where your head is located, determines the source of the problem at the angle. Yeah, there's a nice little crew of North Carolina in the chat. Yeah, North Carolina be representing. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, Denise. Back on my buddy. What's going on? <laughs> Deon said, turn up. But keep it say, okay, darling, when you get a chance, get special SPE fresh ginger and bullet. Go ahead with your bad self um, reaction. I'm going to take a drink with you. I'm going to take a drink with you. Hey, Miss Howard. What's going on? Yeah, let, uh, <clears throat> ain't no telling is in North Carolina. I think Ladybug says she in Greenville. I always get it mixed up with Greenville and Greensboro. I think she told me she in Greenville. I thought, oh, so you in Rock? I thought you told me you, well, who that said they was in Greensboro? So you in Raleigh too, Lady Bug? Lady Bug said she used to go to Fayetteville back in the day. I'm trying to figure out why I can't see Mad Dog comment. <laughs> Boogie said, Why is that weirdo making honey and hot sauce? Yeah, Fantasia is from North Carolina too. She, I forgot the name of that place she is from. She, uh, I forgot the name of the small town she from. Fantasia. Yeah, DeAndre from North Carolina. We can do a meet and greet. Ain't nothing wrong with that lady, but we definitely go out to eat now. You know we love to eat. Then head on out there to, um, you know, circle around that uh, high point. That's right, Saida. She is. She from high point. Definitely is. Lady Bus said she an hour from Charlotte. Okay. Oh, well then you really <clears throat> if you ain't but an hour, hell yeah, you out you uh you out there. 
Donna said she can get the roll in 45 minutes. And you better slow down. And you better slow down. Hey, legendary. What time is it? Charlotte. Charlotte. Get up and take your medicine. You don't know. Lord, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. So we were just doing something yesterday, right? And uh, Charlotte wanted to, you know, go look at some trailers. I should have turned. I should have put. I mean, we found some today because I told her I got to look. Um, I got to um, look them up because only place that I knew was right down the road there. And, uh, boy, when I tell you, we walked in this module uh, trailer. Y'all, I fell, I fell in love with it as soon as I walked in. I mean, when I walked in, I mean, as soon as you walk in, it's a little place with a mirror and a little um, desk-type thing, vanity-type thing. Uh, you know where if you walk in and maybe you want to put your car keys or, you know, come in when you first come in, put your pocketbook down and stuff like that, a little area like that. Then, I mean, the living room was huge and had the had a like a um it was an image i guess it was i mean i guess it was the heat but you it was like an image of a fireplace and over there was the t i mean uh, that damn trailer was i mean that trailer was more of a noise and i can't even tell you that damn bathroom glory to god that bathroom that bathroom was just I mean, oh my God, it was perfect. It had double uh, sinks, then it had a stand-up shower, then the tub, it's like when you walk in, okay, the tub right there, the tub is separate. But then if you walk up a little more, then you got the double sink, then you got the uh, stand-up shower, and... Um, the toilet that was separate it had like you know what i'm saying you know now how they make these toilets now like uh you can close the door that's how that was and then you know the closet the room would be but the closet i didn't like how the closet was nice but i didn't like how i really didn't like i didn't really like the closet because it had too many shelves in it to the point I'm like, well, damn, if I want to hang up my dress, you know, everything. But I know, you know, when you buy shit like that, you can easily tell them that you want. That's why I told Charlotte, I said, this, we, and we could get this one. Yeah, I would, I would definitely have to tell them to take some of them rackets out and uh, take some of them rackets out and uh, where I can hang, you know, dresses and stuff like that. But it was nice. I fell in love with it. In the second one we looked at. That second one we looked at. It was okay, but I still, like I said, that first one was nice to me. It had one, it had three bedrooms. And plus that bath, it had three bedrooms and two bathrooms. And, uh, the other bath, uh, bedroom, you know, the bathroom, like, just like it is here, was a solid room right there, and the bathroom was straight, all she got to do is straight across. I, and so, you know, we kept looking. Then another one we looked, the third one we looked at, it was okay, but to me, to me, it was like a little congested. I didn't, I don't know. I didn't like it. I didn't like the, uh, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like that last one. But Charlotte liked it. But I didn't like it. So, you know, my, nobody didn't ever come out and talk to us, which was okay, fine. Because we were just, we were only looking. You know what I'm saying? 
So I called him back and uh, I told her, I said, uh, well, how much is the first uh, trailer to your uh, left? She said, $245. So I said, well, how much is the um, the one beside it? She said, well, if you want the steps, that'll be $245, but without the steps, it's $230. And the one facing the office, the one that Charlotte like, that was $155,000. I said, damn. Motherfucking trailers done, they just as much as damn, uh, they just as much as damn houses now. Hey, Sandra. That's what I'm saying, boo. 15K, you know they were telling damn lies. I ain't know when the hell talking about two without the steps would have been 230. With the steps, two, uh, it would have been 245. Bitch, please. Mm -mm. See, you know. Sometimes, and I feel like this too, sometimes, you know, they can tell by voice who you talk, who they talking to. And sometimes I think they tell, say shit just because they think that that person ain't able to afford it. So they throw shit out there. You know, that's the way I look at that. So I wish I could afford a five bedroom. Hell, I like to swallow my whole throat when that bitch said two forty five for that trailer. Damn, it's a lot of them that are staged give you the option to get it with the furniture as well. Yeah, yeah, they'll tell you do you if you want it to come with the furniture or not. Mm -hmm. Lady Bird said. <clears throat> Time to go to Lowe's to get your own wood to build your own steps. All right. Oh, yeah. I, of course, I'll put it on my land, baby. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't move. What I would do is move this trailer down to the other land that we got down there and put the new trailer on this land. No, I wouldn't. No, hell no. I ain't moving to pay nobody for no, for no property. And I got property. Mm-mm. We got three we got three lots. The one we own, the one right there in the middle, and the other one beside that that my brother used to have his uh trailer on. So shit, we got too much land, baby, to go and uh what's up, Livy? Happy Friday. Yeah, we got too much land um that's paid for to go out there and pay somebody else for some land. Mm-mm. I wouldn't do that. Because all I, like I said, what we agree with, we'll just move this trailer here on the land that my brother was staying on, and we will put a trailer, the new trailer here. You have six cabins. Okay. I know that's right. Good morning, Moscow. Deandra. Yeah. Because, I mean, damn. I, that's why I said I got to do it. Charlotte. Yeah. Get up. Oh, oh. You know, somebody don't do shit. No, it ain't working. They just lay. Hard to get the fuck up. He said, do they have any that are two years old and would be a little too? That's what I said, because, you know, 
I think they have got some use, but of course I know if you're looking into getting uh, a brand new one, you're going to pay. That's why I said I know it got to be some more more lots around here that got, they had some used ones uh, and stuff, but they had them, like I said, they didn't have, the, the way they had them set up, the used ones, I don't think they had them to the point where people could go and um, look in them. The only one they had on display were the three that we went in and, uh, like the single wise that they had there, they had them so close together. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? They were so, it was about, I say probably it looked like about 10 of them in a row, but they were so beside, so close to each other. I know they weren't showing them. They couldn't have been showing them. People weren't going in them. So I guess you maybe had to would request to see them if you want to see a single wide, but they had them. Uh, other three open. So, I'm thinking it's another place. I think where we, and see the other place that we went to on 70, they, they make trailer, they don't sell trailers, uh, mobile homes no more. They, all they had out there were campers. So, that was, that wasn't nothing. So, I'm trying to think about the place where we seen where we bought this trailer from. Yeah. <clears throat> if we look in, the, if we get one, it's going to have to be used unless we bless, if we bless with a whole, I mean, a bucket full of money. Because, shoot. Honey. I ain't going to tell you no more to get up because when I finish this live, I'm going to get dressed and I'm out. I ain't worried about what you're doing. If you ain't finished, I ain't tell you no more because it don't make no sense to be hard-headed. Ooh. Beauty and brain said that's true. Sometimes they look, uh huh, or hear a skin color and think you don't have it. I was at a car dealership and they was acting funny like that. I drove off the lot with a car. They were looking crazy. That's what I'm saying. They do that shit a lot of times when uh going and buying shit, even in the department store. They look at you like you're crazy, like you know you ain't got nothing and or whatever. Then when you go in there and you drop some shit on their ass, they looking stupid. They do shit like that sometimes in a damn restaurant. But yeah, I, I can tell just from her voice. Like <clears throat> one day me and my sister were riding and we seen a car in the yard for sale. So it didn't have a price on it. So, you know, but it had a phone number on it. And to mind you now, when the lady was standing, when we stopped, the lady was standing in, uh, standing at her garage, but it wasn't the way the, the house was at and stuff. You know, it won't like say for instance that real that close where we could talk to her while she was at her garage. Where so we ended up because she could see us, and um, we ended up calling her on the phone. And uh, mind you, now used car. It was a. It looked like it was probably about a. Um, I think either between a two twenty two thousand twenty three or two thousand twenty four, and um, uh, as we called her and asked her how much were they selling the car for, and she went um, forty five thousand. I said, you know, mother, well, who going to get them 45000 for that car? A used car. 
If I'm gonna buy a car for forty five thousand that's sitting in a yard, don't you know I'm gonna go to a car lot first? But then that could have been she was saying the car is forty five thousand. But see, she didn't say that. She just said forty five thousand. And because I'm thinking, because me and my sister were like, well, maybe she was saying forty five thousand, and you take up payments. That could have been. God know there ain't no damn way you sitting there with me you selling this damn car for forty five thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. It just ain't no damn way. Cause just like the truck that me and Charlotte looked at, dude, he won ten five for it. But my friend told me he said, uh, "Look at go check on the." Uh, blue book value but see i don't know how many miles on the damn truck i know he said it was a 2008 nissan titan and he said check the blue book on it and stuff because he was like shit he said you go up there with nine thousand dollars he'll take it i don't think now i don't think it i don't if he got that damn price on that damn car it's ten five I don't see him letting us walk with that damn truck for $9,000. I don't see that. He lost $1,500. Uh, he might. I, I mean, he might. We can ask him. But if I check that blue book on it and uh, it said, then, yeah, he might. Hey, that'd be all the better. But, but my biggest thing is the damn trailer. Them damn trailers were nice, y'all. I, like I said, I should have uh, been videoing. So y'all can see them. Next time, if we find something today, I am going to video it. That's why I got to uh, go on and make some phone calls and shit so we can get our day started. Let me take this damn other half of this pill before I let y'all go. Y'all help me get it. What you do? Your bonnet came off. No, I mean, what's that? Oh, I mean, I didn't really look. I just, uh, like, was the further you go out in the country, trailers are cheap to buy and they are nice. Forest City. I ain't never heard of that, Lady Bug, Forest City. Mm-hmm. Okay, the further you go out, you saying the trailers are cheap. Well, that might be what we have to do, but then you got to pay, you got to think about um, having it towed when you buy it. They're going to put that into, they're going to tack that into it too. If you say, for instance, okay, we do find, say we find a trailer in Charlotte. You know they're going to pay, the, you know we're going to have to pay out the ass to have that car had that trailer towed from Charlotte to here. But we got to look, though, because um, ain't no need to wait until... I know you say, because I... Because that's what I was saying at first. I was, shit, we ain't got no damn money. What's the point? But why wait till when you don't know... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't know what, what's what. And then you wait, you want to start looking. Why not look now? So if something do come through, then we already know what we, you know, what we done looked at. So ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with window shopping. Ain't nothing wrong. Why wait till the last minute? Well, for today, Tom. Just to go uh, and look around, 
Cause we waited so uh Okay, all of this. I mean, and what about the underpinning? Cause I definitely want them to do that. I think that come with it too. I think all of that come play a part in it too when they do the underpinning. Now what I don't think come with it is um now, underpinning, I, they got to do it because they got to make sure the trailer going to be, you know, going to stand there. But what I don't think come with it is when you uh, do the uh, brick around it. Yeah. What they call it? The foundation. That ain't the foundation. It's something else they call it when they brick it around. Some got bricks and some got it like the tin going around it. That ain't the foundation. The foundation is what you put the trailer on, the land. I mean, the underpinning come with it. But I'm talking about, like, the brick laying around it. I want to, um, definitely got to have it. And see, they didn't finish. I don't know how. And see, I don't know what was going on when my brother was had them. Well, he didn't do nothing. Because what it was is they bricked the house. But then my brother was, my daddy had built this, uh, made this cement porch that went to two the house that was here, it got burnt down. And he wanted to keep the porch to the house. And so when they came and they put the trailer here, they weren't able to connect the trailer and the porch because they was like the porch won't level, the house won't level something, so you got that much of the porch and the trailer, and even though we just put bricks of to cover the hole and stuff, but still, I don't want that type of shit if I would find, I would just throw that whole porch away. It doesn't serve its purpose. I mean, uh, I would have them the part where my daddy signed his name and stuff in it. I probably would try, if they could save her debt, I would want that, but the porch itself, they can uh, go ahead with that bullshit. They can take that whole shit, as far as I'm concerned. And I don't like them damn little bitty porches. I don't like them. I like a damn big porch. You know, I don't want no, like, the porch they had to go with it. And I think that's fucked up. If they're going to say that, them damn, like you said, um, boo, 15000 for a damn porch, a little bitty porch. Ain't no way in the fuck y'all telling y'all get ready to sell me no little bitty, no little bit porch like that for fifteen. Ain't no way in the hell y'all building no damn porch that little for 15 k Just ain't no damn way. You gonna be you gonna charge me 15 k for a damn porch. That motherfucker better be just as wide as the damn trailer. Damn near. The fuck I look like a little bitty damn. Ain't no way no, I don't want no porch like that. That's too little. You can't even sit on that porch. They don't even look right with a porch that small. With a big ass trailer. Mm -mm, I would get somebody to build me a nice uh, porch, a nice deck, and uh, put out there with the um, uh, head on the shelter. Mm -hmm, I don't know, little bit of shit they talking about. I, and to be honest, I just thought about the shit just then. About the porch. You think that porch. Because we so used to this porch here. It's so roomy. You know what I'm saying. 
I don't I couldn't deal. I wouldn't want no little bitty porch like that. I would have to have me a deck deal. And I really wouldn't want um I don't really care for the wooden porch, but I would, I mean, if they got it, I would have to have that uh put that is it like grass type material on the porch? Cause I don't, I won't want no porch with the holes in it. You know, with the holes in it and shit. Cause ain't no telling what the lizard really would be sliding between them holes and shit. Yeah, I know, I know. But you know how you be. I hate to be skeptical, and I hate to. I mean, I know can't nobody do it but God, and you know He can, He can make everything happen, and God knows. I pray what's coming our way is is to the point that going that will bless us, you know, to get something, you know, uh, to get us a uh, new trailer. I really do. Boo King said, don't get me to laugh about that trip. Honey? Baby, y'all know I don't do lizards. Mm-hmm. And see, that's what I said with the porch like that. You know how them wooden porches is. They ain't like really close together. They got enough... Uh, space in it to the point where lizard fit right through it. I wouldn't never say, cause I only sit out there on the porch on that one. If I go outside, now we'll go them and sit out there, kids of them and all of that, but you know, kids are innocent. And you tell them not to, they still gonna do it except for Kenzie. As she noticed that them lizard be out there, that she put, she stops. <laughs> she stops. But <clears throat> me, when I go out there, I don't sit on that porch. I sit out there in the middle of the yard. Mm-hmm. Because I ain't trying to own... Mm-mm. I can't sit on the... And sometimes I want to sit on the step, but you can't sit on the damn step because you see the damn lizard crawling on the rails and shit of the, of the step. I said, oh, no. Hell no. They crawling on the porch behind... I ain't doing that. So the best thing... I mean, it don't bother me to sit out there in the yard, you know, because when I'm out there in the yard, I think the kids feel better and feel like I'm more interacting with them when I'm sitting out there in the yard versus if I'm sitting on the porch. Cause I know Kenzie, the other day, I was sitting here, and she was like, uh, she wanted to go outside. I said, well, go ahead. She said, yeah, but I want you to come with me. I said, Lord. I said, I'm sitting right here in the door watching y'all. see y'all out there. She said, yeah, but I want you to come outside. And I think, like I said, she know when I go outside, I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the, in the yard. And then half the time when they race, see what they do is when they play racing or whatever, or tag or whatever on the base, they'll come plop on me. So that's why I think she'd like for me to be out there. Well, Lord, I wish y'all could have seen my baby. He was so tired the other day when he was doing it. Girl, you should have seen him, y'all. I mean, he looked too funny the way he was doing it. I said, Lord, look, I ain't, it's funny to see a child being tired. That thing was funny to me. Oh. Casey? Oh, you know Wooga. <laughs> Wooga ain't going to do a whole lot. No way. He may play and run with him for a few minutes, but... After Wooga, after a while, he, you know, doing that, like, get get back. And I had to tell him, leave my baby alone. So, you know, once he throw that hand out there, like, you know, throw that hand out like that, go on, leave him alone. Because <laughs> he will, he will chunk him. Yes, sir. So, leave my baby alone.
Um, Oh, you said your porch had to go all around your trailer. Well, you know, I really don't care too much whether it's in the back or not, Ladybug. I don't be sitting in the back. No, I only I used to go to the back all the time. And the only reason I used to go to the back is because that's where Wooga always uh would like to go back there and stand and play with the trees and stuff. And you know, I ain't getting ready to let him stand back there by himself, you know. And woo, I used to hate that, but he don't got in the habit now. He don't even try to go to the back. He don't even go. I think maybe because the grass need cutting. That's one thing. But he don't go to the back back there like he used to. He that used to be his his spot. Every time he hit the door to uh, go outside, it, you give it five minutes and he in the backyard standing back there the whole time. I used to hate it like a mug. I ain't care nothing about that back. I ain't care nothing about being in the backyard. So that's why it wasn't pretty much. Um, it probably it pretty much wouldn't interest me to have no back porch. I mean, I would take like that small, the small steps and stuff in the back back there for the that they had in the front. I would have that for the back, but for the most part. I want my dick in front. And maybe the steps like they, I mean, little bitty step. I mean, little room. Now, you know they could have made that damn, them damn steps a little wider. Especially for the money that you spend. You think they would make those steps wider than they made them. Exactly. That much money for steps. Oh, you know, I ain't mad about you laughing about that lizard uh, bouquet. Yeah, they still laughing about it. You still got people laughing about that horse video that I uh, made. So you know I ain't mad about Hell, I ain't shaming that. let no doubt about no. Uh, I don't care how hard nobody laugh when it comes down to me being scared of uh, animals and shit. I don't fuck with them. I don't I do the same thing. Y'all think it's a joke. I do the same thing when it comes to roaches and shit. Oh, them big ass water bugs. I had to fool with that. Shit, I don't play. The motherfucker shit. That shit give me the heebie jeebies. See, when you won't bought up and shit like that, and I just ain't. I can't. Mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't knocking over sometimes. I don't know. Some people, I don't know. Motherfucker talking about they can't help it, but. I don't know what you can help. All I know is I'm not one for it. I'm not for roaches and all kinds of shit. Like I said, the most ain't scared of ants, but they get on my damn nerve. That's about the most that uh that that we pretty much have a problem with during this uh winter uh summertime is them fucking uh ants. They every motherfucking where. Time you look up, it's a motherfucking ant somewhere. And them bitches bite. Motherfucker, them, they just don't be ants. Them bitches bite. So. But, huh, yeah, I ain't got no problem letting the motherfucker know. I'm scared of some shit. Hell yeah, I'll kill a motherfucking roach now. But. In them. Just so, I mean, because shit. And most of the time, like I said, we don't have roaches. But when it rain real bad, and you ain't gonna, it never fails. When it rain hard, it never fails. I promise you, a day or two later, here come a damn big ass water bug. Them bitches can fly. Fuck that. Ah, wait a minute. I did that too fast. Talking about a damn bug. Uh, hold on, y'all. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
if gummy. Ooh. Hit man and let's see if she gonna let us get work with her. Yeah, I tried it was brand new when we bought it. Yeah, it was brand new. Brand spanking new. And then we had them move different stuff. Like, when we first got it, it was a thing in the middle. What they call it? Islander? Yeah. In the middle. And, no, nah, yeah, we didn't like that too much because it was too close to the refrigerator. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, you, it was just too close. So we had the uh, had them move and put the sink um uh, to the window. You know, and at the time that was our first time, you know, that was our first time getting something new, you know, like that. So, you know, we really didn't we really didn't know what to look for. But you know, this second time around here, now, you know what I'm saying, I know what to look for. Hell yeah, look under the sink. Make sure it ain't no damn holes and shit like it was in this one. I'm like, damn. Where the fuck is the damn sink? The pole, the uh, pipes and shit under the sink is the this the pipe and this is the hole and the hole. I mean, why is that like that? That much room around that damn pole. Hell yeah. So, got to look for that. Got to look for where you got the uh, water heater at. Where is the, uh, you know, the panel at the, for everything. Mm -hmm. What else is it that... Uh, uh, the outlets because the way they had this that way they got this trailer wired up i won't know is that the way they wired up every all the shit because it's like okay that side right there is that it seemed like if that outlet blow right there everything in charlotte room will blow too then with this one right here the outlet right there to that wall if that blow Everything on this side of blow. It's just fun. It's just fucked up how the shit is, is wired. I'm like, what? Sometimes that shit don't make sense. Hey, Natasha. <laughs> I'm on TV. Yeah. Say good morning, girl. Good morning. I want y'all to see her hair. I did it. That's when she get right. Uh, like I said, yeah. I'm going to do the video if we find some places to go to today. I don't know. I don't know. Don't get caught up in them lies before you know the truth. Don't get caught up in the lies if we know the truth. But, um, I'm thinking we got this trailer. Where we got this trailer from was, uh, in, uh, I thought it was Smithfield. You don't know. On the big screen. Yay. Let me look right. 
So we look a little right when you're on the big screen. When you're on the big screen, you got to look a little cute. <laughs> Let me put a little bit ago. Oh, my God. Natasha says 72 inch. Oh, shit, yeah. You see everything, Tasha. Look at the list you got. Mm hmm. Damn, you see if I got a pimple? I know you see my mustache, don't you? I got a cut, huh? Sometimes I be forgetting when I wash my face. And that's the crazy part. When I wash my face, I don't eat. And I be looking. And it only hit me to be like, girl, get it. My little chin, her chin and stuff. But you know, the more you cut that shit, the, better, the more they grow back. Sometimes. That's a little cute. I know this one girl, right? I used to hang. I ain't used to hang with her, but she used to go to the same. She, we go to, well, she was going with the guy that ran the liquor house. And she won't shame not one bit. When come, and she was, she was a nice looking lady, real pretty. Nice shape and everything. But baby, when I tell she, when I tell <laughs> Oh, thank you for the cash app. I don't know who sent it because, like I said, they just say you got a cash app, but I don't see the name. But thank you for the cash app. <laughs> but, baby, when I tell you she had a mustache thick as a grown man, baby, now ain't no way in the world. But you got some women to walk around and, I, and she won't gay. That's what at first I thought I said. When I first seen her, I said, damn, she must, you know, she must be one of them. But then when I found out, the more I was going to the spot, I found out that, I don't know if she was her, that was her husband. I think they were married or either they, I knew they were together. So I don't know whether they were married or they were just going together, but she, she didn't play about that motherfucker either. But like I said, she was a nice looking lady with a nice shape. She dressed nice. But the only damn thing is, she had a motherfucking man, a mustache just as thick as a grown man. You remember that girl? Mm. That look house we used to go to, and that girl be in there with the mustache. You don't remember, because I think most of the time who was hanging with me at the time was uh, Laura. So I don't think he. You didn't. You won't really go on with us like that. I seen that lady though. You know who I'm. You yeah. So you talking about? You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, light skin. Yeah. Baby, I was like, damn. Go I used to say, I don't know why she don't cut that shit. That won't cute to me. I'm just saying. I ain't no way in the hell. Now, this right here, like I said, ain't that damn bad because you can't just, you you just can't see my mustache and mine don't go all the way across. Mine, most of the, lot, most of my hair grow right here and right there. And with the chin hairs, you can't even see that that good. But my shit growed in thick like that to the point... If these right here grew in thicker than that, ain't no way. I promise you, I ain't walking around with no mustache and beard. I ain't getting ready to do that. Mm mm. Yeah. Ain't nothing cute about that. I got a cousin that uh, hers ain't that thick, but it's thick enough to be seen. Put it that way. I think she used to let it grow out a little bit, but now I think she keep it cut. You still see 5 o'clock on it, right? I ain't wearing it. Mm. 
when I try to take that antibiotic. Y'all know I'm foolish when it comes to shit like that, boo. I thought you said, I'm learning that you have GLCI outlets. It's the main outlet for those plugs, so when it goes out, they all go out. That's hooked up to that outlet. Right, and see, I don't like that. That's why I'm trying to find. If we come, if we bless to get another trailer and stuff, I'm going to tell I'm going to have to ask them how this damn wiring is hooked up. If, if this blow with that blow, I don't want no shit like that. And just like with the bathroom, they ain't, they only had, I ain't even pay attention to that yesterday when I was looking in the bathroom to see how many outlets they had. Because in my bathroom now, it ain't but one outlet. I'm like, they know they could have put two, at least two in there. So, uh, that's the main thing. I, I, they probably had more. I think they had more than one outlet in the bar in that bathroom. I'm thinking maybe they had. I ain't see but one though. It was up there by the mirror. You ain't been one in the sink. Well, I think one should be up there by the sink, and one should be under the sink. I mean, you know, not under the sink, not under the sink, under, uh, on either side. Like if you got, it with two, uh, sinks in there. So it should have been, uh, uh, outlet on that side and an outlet on that side, which I'm sure it was, but I just didn't pay, thinking about it. I didn't pay, I didn't pay attention to it. Tom said if Charlotte had the money, she would. Cut the check quick. Y'all sister going with y'all to look at new trailers. Uh, thank you, Natasha. Damn. Thank you, darling. But, um, she could, but see, the thing is about with her going with us, see, she on a time limit. See, she got to pick up, um, she got to pick up Kenzie at 2 o'clock. Well, not at 2, but she got to be in the vicinity at 2 o'clock because she got to pick um, Mackenzie up. And see, if we go in the little trailers, we don't know where we going to be. See, Charlotte still, look at her sitting there. She'll be there. My thing is, but she done been there long enough to done did what she got to do. Then after she do that, she got to take a bath. And so it'll be every bit of one or two o'clock before we leave. See, I don't like that. And by the time we leave, we ain't got that much time to be looking and doing. So all right, ain't no telling. I appreciate you coming through, Lucille. Stay as long as you did. I ain't even know you were still in here, baby. Appreciate you. Yeah, we don't forget to um don't forget to uh hit me up on my email lucille on my own zero twenty at gmail dot com yeah i forget some damn time because i got so damn many but yeah go ahead uh lucille thank you all right all right all right I have one too. Thought getting my lip waxed when I was in high school was cute. I had peach fuzz. My hairdresser would tell me I would regret waxing it when I get older. He's right. I regret it. <laughs> uh huh. And that's what they tell you too, Tasha. That if you wax it, they pretty much went and come back. But that's a lie. I can promise you I can cut my damn uh, mustache right now, today. And I promise you by, it'll probably be back next Friday. Can y'all see it? Y'all see it? Look at it. But 
And so I don't do all of it. See, hanging right there. Hallelujah. Looking like poo at her. Mm. Yeah. That's how much, Dad. I shall be. I get it today before I leave. But yeah, y'all, let me go on and get this day started and get this nigga here up and moving. Because if not, we're going to be. We're going to be all day. Cause she got to do what she got to do, then she got to eat something. But at least I already hope I already done. Uh, I cooked some eggs, cheese, and uh, some of them steak. You gonna eat some of that? Yeah. I made my sandwich. Yeah, I make a sandwich. Yeah. We'll see what's going to happen from there. So, which I'm kind of glad a little bit because y'all remember I told you that uh, y'all have a blessed day <clears throat> when I take that metformin. That shit give me the runs real quick. So, at least I want her to go on and hurry up, true, but at the same time, it give me time to uh, have everything digest, and I don't want to wait till I get in the damn car 30 minutes in, and I got to go somewhere and use the bathroom, so, but I'm going to let my phone charge, that way, when we do get somewhere looking at something, I can... I can bring y'all in. So, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. And I shall see y'all later. I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming through. And thanks to who sent me the cash app. I appreciate it. Mwah. Thank you so much. And, yeah, I got the truck back, Tasha. But it, he didn't fix it. He didn't do nothing to it. It still won't crank. Mm-mm. He didn't need, he didn't even fix it. He didn't uh he didn't do nothing to it. So it's still sitting out there and can't move. So so we'll see. Yeah, so uh, my uh, niece let us use her car. So, yeah, it's a shame. It's a damn shame that he had it for almost a month and didn't do nothing to it. Didn't do shit to it. But move it. That's it, but move it. So, we'll see. But, yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all later. I'm going to probably get y'all in if we find some spots so we can look at them together. I love y'all. Stay prayed up. Be safe. Love you. Mwah.